sneakers. Gotta fix my window. There we go. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Alright. We're good. Things are all settled. Hello. We're playing more Professor Layton. Because if I had been playing this on my own, I would have been done already. Oh, now the alert goes out. You're kidding me. But yeah, we're playing more Professor Layton because if I had played this game on my own, I would have finished it already. And I'm mad that I had a lot to do this week and still have a lot to do because I haven't done things that I said I was going to do today because I forgot about it. But it's fine. It's fine. I can do it. This is fine. It's fine. It's chill. You fix the hat. Fixed is a strong word. It, that is a strong word for what that is. Uh, I'm probably still going to keep editing it between each stream. Simply because I'm not satisfied with it. Because if I were going to be satisfied with it, I'd need another three hours on it. I've maybe put an hour and a half into that so it looks a little bit more like the actual logo but I'm not happy with it yet so I'm gonna redo it but it's fine it's chill it'll 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 get to a point where I'm happy with it eventually right 
Yeah, yeah, eventually. At some point. <sighs> That's the problem when you're doing things on your own, by hand. And you kind of have to work within your own skill level. And I don't have a very high skill level. So... It looks better! Don't get me wrong, it looks better! But, you know... It could be better. So... I'm probably gonna work on that more. Just not right now, because I'm lazy. But yeah, we're gonna play more Professor Layton because I want to, and fuck you. Uh, if you have a problem with it. Uh, it's my stream. I do what I want, my stream. I am streamer. Yup. Yeah, more Professor Layton, because I want to. We play the funny hat man game. There we go. Welcome back to Diabolical Box. I'm just enjoying the music. Alright, this is us. Up here. Our story so far. Luke and Layton visit the Herzen Museum on the north part of town to learn about the Elysian Box. But upon their arrival, they find the gate locked. With no way of entering, the pair puts off visiting the museum to ask around about the Elysian box. So we're talking to people. Got it. The Elysian box has such a nice ring to it. What genius came up with a gem like that? Mmm, creepy. Hmm? Oh, Mr. Beluga, it's been ages. I do hope you found what you were looking for. Hmm, <laughs> I wish. I told Samuel to track it down, but the boy's about as useful as a broken pocket watch. Oh, don't fret like that. It leaves wrinkles in that distinguished brow of yours. What do you say, Mr. B? Would you like to come inside and unwind for a bit? Oh my god, they're gonna fuck. No. Professor, do you see that? Mr. Beluga <laughs> went into that cabaret! <laughs> take a <laughs> no, let's not take a closer look actually late um that is a child <laughs> he is a child oh my hello there tall dark and handsome he's not dark at all <laughs> this man is not dark what are you talking about care to come in and catch the show tonight I apologize madam but we're in the middle of oh you're getting all shy on me don't worry about stuff! I don't fight! Again, what is it with everybody flirting with Leighton? Why is he a whore? Oh, and your little friend- Oh, and who's your little friend there? Aren't you a precious boy? Me? Um... Sorry to change the subject, but couldn't help but notice Mr. Beluga entering the cabaret. Are you friends with Mr. B? Something like that, yes. Tell me, does Mr. Beluga visit often? Mr. Beluga is certainly a patron of the arts, that's for sure. Can't say much more, though. So charming, so dapper, and such a gentleman. Show me you got brains to match those looks, and maybe I'll let a few facts slip. Oh my god. <laughs> off the bat. Off the bat. Immediately off the bat. I didn't even get a chance to, like, what happened to hello, hi, how are you? What happened to that? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <sighs> okay. What's going on? Oh my god. I have this really old necklace, but the thing is, it's not really to my taste anymore. Uh, but the thing is, yeah, the thing is, it's not really to my taste anymore, so I decided to sell it. 
but when I was getting it appraised the other day, I realized something weird. Each stone is worth a different amount, but if I break the necklace in three pieces, uh, three places, the three gem strands will be worth the same amount as the other. Can you believe it? Here, if you can figure it out where to cut it. See if you can figure out where to cut it. It's math. This is disgusting. Alright. Okay, there's 12 gems total. Right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep, 12 total. Phone. I need a calculator. Shut up. <laughs> okay, so that'd be four for each strand. Okay. I'm mathing here. <laughs> no. Not the same amount. Close, though. If I go... Here. If I do something like that instead. Okay, two, six. Uh... No, that's way off this time. There was no way that one was going to work. Um... Wait, does it say it needs to be equal pieces? Just three places. Okay, so... Four-ish. Um... Because the numbers are kind of averaging out around 2,500. Okay, this is 26. So we'll just kind of try to make sure we can keep things within that amount. Because when I was partitioning things into fours, it was normally around like the 2,500 range. See if we can get close. Hmm. 
Hmm, nope. Okay, so not... Okay. Brain is braining. Because my idea is this has a high number, this section would have a high number, and then this section would have a, like a thousand in each, you know what I mean? Ish. But that doesn't equal anything in the 25 range. Like, that was the original idea. Wait, no, that actually would work. That one? This should do the trick. Okay. A true gentleman leaves that was no puzzle too much calculator unsolved. work for my liking. But I'll take it. Although I don't know why you would want to separate it. Oh god, yeah, she has to talk again. Handsome and smart, you're a catch, aren't you? Consider me smitten. About Mr. B. He's definitely looking for something, but I don't know what to say for what. The search must be going badly, because he's kind of crappy whenever I see him now. Not go near there again, actually. You see the watchtower, Professor? There's something very suspicious about it, isn't there? That one? There's a person. It's not every day I see new faces. Are you visiting from out of town? Yes, in a way, but we're not here to sightsee. We're searching for an antique known as the Elysian Box. Have you heard of it? Nope, first time I've ever heard of it. Wish you, I wish I had some information to give you. Oh, I can't let visitors go and enjoy our great town and go away empty-handed. Here, it's not a keychain, but take this puzzle of mine as a souvenir for false sense. Alright, what are we doing? Five shapes are arranged in a sequence, but the fourth shape is missing. Use the four vis visible shapes to determine whether A, B, or C should be inserted into the fourth sequence. Okay. Let's, uh, let's do some thinking here. Okay, so this guy's full. Hold on, what am I supposed to be looking for? Rotate each shape 90 degrees to get a fresh perspective on the puzzle. Huh? If you look closely, you might notice that there's a number visible within each of the shapes. B. B has number four inside it. This should do the trick. I did it! Huh. Wonderful. I probably... Probably used more hint coins than I needed. But it, it said it has a four on it. So... I'll count that as a win. Nice work there, fellows. 
I hate to burst your bubble, but if you... If your lead on the Elysian box led you here, you might be out of luck. See, many of the residents who were in false sense... Who were false sense experts skedaddled away a few years ago. It all started over a strange rumor that spread like wildfire, wildfire all over the town. Ah. So even if we find the right place, there might be no one left to ask. Tell me, what was this rumor? Some silly thing about a curse. I'm not entirely clear on it, to be honest. But I often find myself wondering where all those people who left false sense ended up. Oh. A grocery store. Hey, guy. Wow, this place is covered in garlic, and it definitely smells like it. Ugh. Yes, it's very pungent. It's a good thing I brought my handkerchief. My eyes are watering. My nose hurts just being in here. Finally, some customers. Come in, come in. It's been months since anyone came by my shop. My shop's been out of fa out of favor with the townsfolk recently. I can see why, or rather, I can smell why. It's hard to breathe, let alone, let alone shop. All the garlic around, so it smells. Big whoop! It's not here to, it's not here to class up the shop. You know, it's for protection. We've got a bit what you would call a vampire problem here in town. The garlic keeps them away. Vampires? Seriously? Do I look like I'm joking, boy? See that castle over there? The one where the freaky guy lives, at least. That's what people say. I'm not saying I believe the talk, but you can never be too prepared, you know? Okay. Do you see that watchtower? There's something suspicious about it, isn't there? Which one? Ugh. That scared me silly, Professor. What's making such an awful ruckus? I don't know, but I think it's coming from right above us. From right above us. Quick, Luke, to the stairs. Hold on. I'm looking around. There is a fuck ton of garlic in here, too. Look at all those... Look at, look at all those bulbs of garlic, just like... In mirrors. It's, Mildly threatening. Bah, god darn vampires, get off my property. Are, are you alright, mister? Hm, who's there? I don't need you to tell me. I know vampire henchmen when I see them. Whoa, whoa, wait a second. What are you talking about? We just heard a scream and came here to investigate. Say what you will, Sonny, but it won't do you no good. I see through your vampire lies. If you really want me to believe your vampires, you'll solve this puzzle and you'll do it quickly. God damn it. Mm hmm In a quiet town, there's a tower that commands the view of the entire town. Since you can see the whole town from the tower, logic dictates you should be able to see the top of the tower from anywhere in town. However, there's one place in the town shown on the map from which you can clearly have no chance of seeing the top of the tower. Find and circle this place. Okay, so... Ow. It's 20 Picarats. So for something like this... It might be a trick question. It might be a trick question Just for 20. Leave it, to me. it was a trick question. That was almost too easy. Ones that seem hard but have a low, like, picker at level are usually trick questions. Good thinking. From inside the tower, there's no way you can see the top of it, sure. You may be able to stick your neck out a window and look up, but you won't be able to see it from the very top. Pretty good for a vampire. Unless you're not one of those blood-sucking underlings after all. If that's how it is, then you'd... Then listen to me when I tell you best keep your eyes on Castle over yonder. Spooky. It's the nest of one of the, the undead creatures. 
A real uh, live vampire. A real live vampire, you say? Don't make me say it again, buddy. Vampire. Rumors have surfaced regarding a vampire said to live in the castle at the edge of town. Terrified by such talk, not a soul in fall sense dare draw near the castle. Could a vampire actually be living in the Herzen castle? Finding a lead out here is pretty slow going, huh? Indeed. Perhaps our only choice is to wait for the Herzen Museum to open. Gosh, if that's the case, maybe we should revisit the museum. You never know, it might have opened while we were away. Hmm. Alright, you've got a point. I hope the place proves more useful than it did last time. The professor and Luke decide to pay one more visit to the museum. There's a guy. Oh, hello, you two. Uh, imagine seeing you here. Headed north side of town, are you? I guess so. What's up there, anyhow? Hold on. Okay. We're good. Oh, nothing really, just some folks' houses. I've got letters from folks from Dropstone to them. Wow, people are s There are people from Dropstone sending letters all the way out here? That's what I thought at first, too, but something connects Dropstone to this place. It's hard to describe it in words, so I'll just leave it at that. Oops, I got a dash, the mail will be late. Uh, Mr. Parcel. Fucking named him Parcel. Okay. Please wait a moment. Gosh, he didn't even look back once. He must be incredibly focused on delivering the mail. Quite a perplexing individual, that one. But never mind him. For now, we must focus on our own investigation. Look at that. The gate appears to be open now. Now we can finally go inside. Yeehaw. Hmm? Luke, do you hear that? It sounded like the conductor and Mr. Beluga are arguing again. Nothing? You don't even have so much as a lead on it? I thought I, could, I, thought I told you to find it and find it fast. Unko, you gotta cut me some slack. It's no piece of cake stealing or uh, sneaking around with that pig on my tail. Plus, that professor dude from London's been pl out playing detective, too. Keeping a low profile takes out- Uh, takes it out of a guy, you know what I'm saying? My feet are killing me from all this running around. How about you let me take a break? Besides, if I get caught sneaking around like this... You always were a layabout, Samuel. Quit whining and get back to the task at hand. Until you find that box, I'd better hear- I better not hear the word break coming out of your mouth. Gosh, Mr. Beluga really let him have it. Do you think he opened- do you think he opened up the gate? I'm not sure, though it appears that while the museum gate is open, the museum itself is still closed. Let's put this discussion aside for a minute. Tell me, Luke, do you recognize the symbol at our feet? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a ram. <sighs> the storm's been worn out over the years. Sure, it looks like the symbol of the book we found lying in the street. And it does, but I'm certain there's something like this in another location, too. But where was it? Ah, yes, now I've got it. What is it, Professor? We must locate Inspector Chelmy at once. I need to see the, fo the photo he acquired from the crime scene. But this town is so big. How are we going to track him down? Well, it's quite late now. He may have returned to the hotel for the night. What do you think? You're probably right. Quick, let's head back to the hotel. Back to the hotel with ye. Dog. 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 
There's an open door here. Okay, that's the museum collector guy. We're not talking to anyone. We have the story to finish. The hoe. Oh. Inspector, there's something I need to ask of you. Can you spare just a moment? Ah, Layton, I see you've been busy. I didn't think you'd manage to solve 50 puzzles so soon. I hear you've been very busy sniffing around town for clues. Tell me, has your search yielded any genuinely useful facts yet? Perhaps. Would you mind showing us the photo you recovered at the doctor's apartment? Oh ho! Am I to understand that there's a clue found in that photo? Hmm. Well, I see you can, you've solved 50 puzzles so far. So I can tell you're serious about the investigation. My top priority is solving this case. So if you think you can help, I might as well show you the thing. What the devil? Is something the matter, sir? It's a blasted hole in my pocket. Oh no. I've been scattering the pieces all about without even notice noticing. This is a low point in my career. It seems all that remains is this one photo scrap. I have to find 15 of them. Tough to say, the pieces were all still in my pocket when we entered Fall Sense. That much I'm sure of. Inspector, do you recall the path you took around town over the past couple hours? Bits of it, yes. Let's see. Okay, it's one this is a 35 puzzle. Uh, use what the inspector remembers to find the path he took through town. Well, only one turn I made was at an intersection with a cafe on it. Oh, and I also passed in front of that one hat shop. Oh, and that one flower shop, too. I didn't walk any further than necessary. That's a bit, uh... A bit lame. Okay. Was at an intersection with a cafe. Also passed in front of one hat shop and one flower shop too. And I didn't walk any further than necessary. I feel like that's too many steps, though. Um... On an intersection with a cafe on it. So honestly, around anywhere around here, at the very start, is where he could have made a turn. Um... Let's say he went, like... Here. And I passed in front of a hat shop. Passed in front of a hat shop. And a flower shop. 
It's definitely a fast way to get there, but I'm not sure. Because that's four turns. It says only one turn I made it was at an intersection with a cafe on it. And again, if we're starting here, it could be like anywhere here. So, cafe on it. And then passed in front of a hat shop. So depending on where he turned, it has to pass here. And then it has to go down here. Because it wouldn't make sense, because he didn't make any more turns than need be, so it can't go up here. So it has to at least end with that. So then I, the hardest part is going to be figuring out which coffee shop it is. He did only find one, though, right? So... Then it had to have gone like this. Right? can try it. It's the worst that happens, this I'm wrong. The trick. I was correct. And there we have it. I'm surprised at myself. And then after leaving the northeast corner of town, I came straight back to the hotel. That should be enough information to get started. Thank you. Come on, Luke, let's see if we can recover the pieces of that photo by retracing the inspector's steps. What's so important about the photo, Professor? I'm unsure of the photo's content, but, I have a very com but I'm very confident that it'll lead us to the Elysian box. Say no more. I'm sold. After all, your intuition never fails, so let's hurry to the northeast corner. I think we can get through that little path where the bulldog was sitting. Yes. Let's lead the way. Shut up. My phone is telling me things. Too many of them. Yeehaw. Shadows on the street corner. Woo! Alright, let's find some fucking photo scraps. Bulldog was this side. Bulldog blocking our path to the northeast corner. Hmm. How to get through. Woof. Our friend the bulldog seems to have changed his temper since we last met. Roof. Looks like he's really hungry, Professor. I think he'll let us pass if we bring him a snack. Very well. I seem to remember a grocer beneath the watchtower. I'm sure we can find a suitable snack for our friend here. We need to go back to the garlic place. To the garlic. Hello there, gents. How can I help you today? We're in desperate need of food for a hungry dog. Do you have anything that fits the bill? Well, that's the most interesting request I've heard all day. I don't have any kibble or the like, but this leftover beef shank ought to make the rover sit up and beg. That should do nicely. Would you mind parting with it? Not really, but I hope your dog likes garlic. I'm sure that won't be a problem. That is a problem. Good, good. Now I won't charge you for it if you mind solving this puzzle I've got here. It's been chewing at me for days and I'm starting to lose sleep. That's actually a 
big fucking problem. Uh, I don't think dogs can have garlic. I think low-key that kills them. Garlic is a wonderful seasoning when used in moderation, but the smell can be pretty potent. Yes, I'm aware. Someone put garlic cloves in an intricate container. This is a container? Okay. In this intricate container, uh, they're really stinking up the room. Use two corks below to help our friend deal with the smell. Alright, I got this. Because corks aren't doing the trick in their current locations. The flower smell literally goes in a loop. The fact that all three... Yeah. How to contain the smell, then? Can use no more than two corks. Hmm. I was like, Let's I don't know. Can I like plug works. his nose or some shit? Yes, yes, I can. Maintenance I can plug his again. nose. Yeah, each of the holes in the container are connected to the garlic. There's no real way to seal off the container using two corks. With no way to contain the smell. Our friend has no choice but to plug his nostrils. Stick him up there. You gotta be a real garlic lover like me to solve that one. Here, you work for this beef shank. So it's all yours. I'm gonna walk out of here smelling like nothing but garlic. So much garlic. Back to the dog. Dougie. Dougie. Gwarf Wharf. Here's our chance, Luke. Toss in the beef shank. I'm already on it. Here it goes. Woof. Sniff. Oh. Look at him. Beautiful baby boy. I think our little offering here did the trick. I don't think this puffy's get puppy is going to be snarling again anytime soon. We can finally explore the rest of the town. Yay! Thank you, puppy. Professor, could that be? A piece of the photograph. I'd say so. Sharp eyes, Luke. I'm keeping it in my trunk for safekeeping. the piece of photograph? Hmm. Don't worry, Luke. Don't worry, Luke. It looks more or less intact. I'll go this way first. It's a good thing they glow. Another piece of the shard.
Did he really think that the criminals would be hiding out here? Hard to say. He could just have been pawing through through for clues or like or the like. Okay, can't go that way. Go this way. Oh, it's you two. Oh, it's uh, what was her name? Katrina? Katya? Katya. I know it started with the K A T. Was not paying much attention otherwise. Yes, my name is Katya. Brings you to false sense. I'm sorry, but I can't really talk about it. Excuse me, I have to go back to my search. Katya, wait a minute, what are you looking for? Wow, she moves fast. To think Katya was headed to false sense all along, just as we were. I believe we've uncovered the identity of the third party asking about the Elysian box. So Katya is looking for the Elysian box as well. The possibility is hard to ignore, yes. Puzzle. Ooh, photograph. There's another scrap of the photo. Boy, Inspector Chelmy sure gets around. Nowhere else to go. Talk to this guy. See if he knows anything. False sense the Gilded Town. Yeah, that's what it used to be called. Way back when. I used to work down in the mines. I'm going to tell his nickname. Well, it did till they closed him a few years ago. Even now, sometimes I catch punks sneaking down into the mines, checking to see if anything's there. They always come back up empty-handed, though. Can be, you can bet your hat on that. And I've certainly heard rumors of the great fortune of fortune Duke Herzen left behind. Ah, so you're another one of them treasure hunters, eh? In that case, take it from me. The real money's not in the mine. It's in the Duke's castle. Of course, you may have trouble getting in, considering there's a vampire living up there. Alright, enough small talk. Gotta go back to figuring out what this scrap I picked up is. Oh, I know, I know. It's a scrap of a photo. We've been looking all over for it. Ah, so this thing's yours, is it? Well, I got no use for it. Go ahead and take it. So the people have things. Ah, hit coin. I probably should be on the lookout for those. I don't mean to brag, but I make the best can't pancakes you ever tasted, guaranteed. Thing is, while the flavor is out of this world, I have trouble getting the size consistent. Serving them can be a pain because you need to stack them just so. Here, I'll show you. Ooh, it's another one of these puzzles. Alright, we'll see if I can do this. This should do the trick. I did it! And there we have it. Those ones are fun, because they're easy. Yeah, Fuse 15. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I did it in 21. Your hands move so fast. It's like you were juggling those flapjacks. Next time I throw pancakes on the griddle, you're welcome to a heaping of them. Hamster. further now. No, I cannot. Hat! Gosh, this place has some unusual art. I don't even know what to make of this picture. Hmm? Which picture are you talking about, Luke? This one here. Are those funny shapes some kind of code? Seems as if you stumbled across a puzzle. Oh joy, a puzzle. 
A bunch of figures are arranged in a pattern below. As you can see, the figure that should go in space one is missing. Can you draw the figure that could go into this space? I have no clue what I'm doing. Focus on the right half of the two figures two through six. Oh, I was doing it right. What? Just leave it to me. That was almost too easy. It made the letters A, B, C, D, E, and F. See, see the letters. I was doing it right. Oh, now I see how it works. Ooh. Coin. Coin for the coin I have lost. Seven scraps so far. I guess we got more work ahead of us. Yes, that's the job's. Yes, the job's far from over. It would seem we're about halfway there, give or take. But we've walked the, walked the length of this alley, and I think it's safe to say we won't find anything else here. I say we focus the remainder of our search on places the youth inspector likely visited. Alright, we gotta run around town now. everywhere. I don't care where the inspector was likely to go. This place gives me a bad feeling. Who even knows what's down that path anyway? From what I can see, it's just an expansive wilderness. But let's leave it be for now. Cool. So we're gonna have to go down there at some point. Joy. Looks like the inspector found a new victim to grill. So the only way into Fall Sense is through that narrow mountain pass in the Molitary Express. In other words, no one gets in or out of town without riding that train. Oh, I see you've been doing your homework. 
Yes, I think you got your facts straight. Age takes a toll on the memory, you know. But I can tell... B you can't tell but looking at me, but I'm no spring chicken. It's quite enough, madam. If you're sure about the route into town, then we're finished here. Barton, let's go. Hmm? I mean, yes, sir. Aw, oh, rats. He dashed off. I was sure I would get him... I'm sure I could get him to come in to show. Honestly, some boys just can't sit still for five minutes. I'd say we've stumbled across a piece of our missing photograph. Indeed we have. I'll hold on to that for now. Let's go into some shops, see what's going on. Some people might have things, but we're gonna check the grounds for now. Mostly. Mm -hmm. This looks like the uh, hint area. So we don't need to be here. Just in case. Professor, the train still stopped at the station, but there's not a soul in sight. And it seems we have no choice but to remain in town. All the more reason to proceed with our investigation of the area. I guess so. Okay, let's keep looking. Spooky. Okay, well, I've checked pretty much every area. Time to talk to people. In false sense now, kids. So go on, dream big, because anything's possible here. Let me welcome the newcomers with a little riddle. Celebrates a plaza like this one now. <sighs> uh huh. Big old statue in the middle of the plaza. When you take away the area occupied by the statue, the shape and plaza look very donut like. What you gotta do is divide this, this plaza into identically shaped parts using only one line. Um, before you get any ideas, the dotted lines show won't cut, because they're actually two lines. Hmm? So I can't just... Don't mind me just breaking everything. Just, you know. Casually. So what I'm getting is they want half of what's already, like, halved. You know what I mean? Because they're being stupid. I'm also getting texts in a group chat right now, so... That's fun. It wasn't even me, that was my phone. Help. In the example illustration, the plaza has been divided by two lines, which makes the answer invalid. The fact... 
that you need to use a single line to answer is the problem. Okay, to answer the problem is the key. That you can only use one line, you know it won't be done by solving this. You know it won't be done. You won't be solving this one by drawing lines to the middle of the plaza. So if I can't draw a line through the middle, can I like make a circle around it? Even if you avoid drawing your line through the center of the plaza, no single straight line- okay. Uh, by the way, did you notice the goal here isn't to make two pieces that are the same size, but merely the same shape? So yeah, like a... Like a- like a and now thing? to test my theory. Yeah, okay. That wasn't too bad. Leaves no puzzle unsolved. Like like a circle in the middle. Just the same shape, not like equal and identical. Lots of folks come to Fall Sedge dreaming of fame and glory, but you guys seem different. Whew. Take it from someone who's been around the block. Stay back from the northwest forest in the town. You. Hey, whatever you do, don't play the forest at the edge of town. Oh, why is that? From what I heard, the people who went treasure hunting in that dusty castle area outside of town. They also said the vampire with the big fangs lives up there. Yikes. Are you talking about the vampire who's rumored to live in the Herzen castle? Well, gosh, if you knew about that, why would I... Uh, if you already knew what I was talking about, why'd you make me explain it? Anyway, even though the whole fang thing sounds creepy, the old vampire is nothing to be scared of. As long as you have a cross or some garlic, you're good to go. Actually, I bet even a hunk of garlic bread would do the same thing. Really? Oh yeah, everyone knows that. I meant to ask you too. Do you know this? The wind blew it over here earlier. <sighs> then you should have it. I was just gonna throw it away. Let's talk to the, uh, the shopkeep. Actually, no. Let's talk to people on the streets. Street people. You, stir you two sure do run around a bunch, huh? You never ca uh, you'll never catch me doing that. I'd get all sweaty. Okay, I didn't ask. Hey guys, what you doing there? Hello, little boy. We're looking for bits of a torn photo. Have you seen any pieces around? Yeah, the wind blew this thing by me. Is this what you guys are looking for? Normally, it's all about finders keepers, but I'll give it to you if you can solve this puzzle. Okay, we're helping we're helping him solve a thing. Uh, here's a classic puzzle. The rules are simple. You can move any ball on the board as long as you follow... As long as it satisfies the following conditions. To move, jump your selected ball over an adjacent space occupied by another ball into an empty space on the other side. You can't jump diagonally. Once you've made this jump, the ball you jumped over disappears from the board. To complete the puzzle, you must remove all the balls from the board except one. Hold on. I was right the first time. This should do the trick. And there we have it. I was right the first time. Oh, I get it now. Thanks for your help. Here's the thing you wanted. You know, there used to be a lot of folks back in False Sense the other day, but then everyone laughed. Cool. Thanks, kid, for the history. 
Hey, guy. Ugh. Seems to be ailing you. Every day I stand out here for hours and hours. All that standing really does a number on my knees. I should really start scheduling a mid-shift break or something. Being a doorman does sound like an exhausting job. Perhaps a cup of tea would restore your spirits. Sure, but I gotta warn you, working a five-star restaurant has me pretty picky about what I drink. Can you brew me up something that tastes mild with a hint of spice? Okay, good. It's like, uh, it's the only one that mentions mild, but it also has the sweet aspect. Uh. I know a good tea when I taste it. My friend, that tea of yours is out of this world. Working as a doorman is the best restaurant in town, but I gotta be on the ball 100% of the time. I mean, back in the day, even the Duke and his fiance used to come here. The Duke's son. Sorry, Duke's son and his fiance. When you got customers like that, service has to be perfect from the second they walk up. Wow, false sense elite, huh? That's right, little man. Been thinking on it. I haven't seen those two for a while now. Sure hope they come to visit again sometime. So, he has nothing. Weird, creepy dude. Looks like Spampton from Deltarune. Taken in the sights, are ya? Have you heard... Have you heard of the Herzen Museum? It's got all sorts of antiques from Falsens, the most important family. Uh, don't plan on visiting it, though. The current caretaker, Grinko, is never there. If you find the place open, consider yourself lucky. Yes, we noticed. We were hoping to visit, but the museum was closed when we passed by. Word is the museum's owner ordered Grinko to lock the place up and run, to, run around town to find something. The owner, you say? Do you happen to know who this person is? Of course, everyone does. The same fellow that owns the Voluntary Express. Maybe the build, maybe building museums is some weird hobby for the rich, but it seems like a waste of time to me. And see, Mr. Beluga is the only one that owns not only the Voluntary Express, but the Herzen Museum. Weird. What you Mr. Beluga have a little museum like that? No concern. Ugh, big stretch. What's clear is that Mr. Beluga might have ties to the Herzens he's kept quiet about. Done John with each other, you two? Good, then look at this piece of trash I picked up off the ground. Oh, it's a scrap of the photo. You were looking for this thing? Then take it back already. Here, it's yours. Cool. We're getting lore, guys. Alright, pompous little prick of a kid looking bitch. Oh, I found this piece of trash on the ground. Littering is such a boorish habit one can have. Oh, look, Professor, it's part of the photo. Yes, it appears to be the case. Guess the pieces really did scatter over town. What a huge pain. It may take some leg work, but each piece brings us closer to the answer. We must retrieve them all. Sorry to break up the tea party, but I'm the one who picked that up, you know. If you want it so badly, you'll have to solve this puzzle for me first, okay? Snot-nosed fucking... The board shown on the left is wired on the underside so that holding contact points A and B together turns the light on. Now look at the picture on the right. This light has three contact points, A, B, and C. No matter whether you hold contact points A, B, and C or A and C together, B, B, and C or A and C together, the light stays on. In that case, how must the wires be connected on the underside of the board? Draw a solution that requires the fewest number of connections. 
The dotted line indicates a known wire. Hmm. to number possible. I'm trying to figure out what would take the least amount here. Because, like, Okay, I don't know much about, like, wires and shit, right? But, like, if they're all on, no matter what the combination, then, like, shouldn't they all be connected in some way? Right? Should do the trick. Ah, uh, well, I suppose you can't. Are can't you sure your more. solution meets all the conditions set out by the puzzle? No matter whether you hold contact points A, B, A and B, B and C, or A and C together, the light stays on. This might make you think that they're elect that the electricity has to run through all three of these connections. But at the same time, the positive and negative signals need to be isolated from each other, which makes things more difficult. Read the conditions you have to meet. Okay. You might be tempted to construct something resembling a proper wiring job, but that won't do the trick here. Be flexible in your thinking and that'll get the job done. I just need to turn the light on. This should do the trick. Apparently, should yes, I just no turned the unsolved. light on. All you had to do is try to all you really have to do is connect the light bulb to the battery. Uh it tells you that the light stays lit even when the points touch. Naturally, the light will also stay lit when those points don't touch. You're sharper than I thought you'd be. Here, why don't I don't need the silly thing anyway? Cool, appreciate it, man. You're so chill. Okay. Why is everyone so quick to warn people away from the castle? I mean, what does it matter? The path there's blocked by a gate that's always locked. I take it that's the sole path to the castle then. Oh, so you actually want to go there, huh? It's a weird and scary place, but I understand the feeling. The gate does open once a day to let this old carriage through. If you hide in the bushes, you might be able to sneak in with it. So the gate does open. How do you know anything about this carriage? It heads up to the castle at the same time every day. Maybe it delivers stuff like raw steak for the vampire to eat. But really, I have no idea. All kinds of dangerous things happen in those woods. So I say just stay out of there. Not... Oh, what I was looking for. Do you know anything? Oh my god, it was another tea thing! Uh, okay, what does he want? Make 
me a tea that's fruity and smoky. To get the flavor I'm after, something needs to be burned. together at this point. Uh, start with like an oasis leaf. Let's go with that. something like that. Pepper cherry, tonic flower, joy root, cream fluff. Writing on my pencil. Pencil. Pen. Ow. Something like that. A little bitter. Aha. Uh -huh. A little bitter, I guess.
actually, which recipes do I have? here for anyway. Yeah, garlicky. Okay. He really has nothing to say. Circulation, there you go. Take. Probably just a trick of the light. Seems to happen a lot to people in false sets. Anywho. Can I get anything else out of you? Apparently not. What am I missing? One piece? Yeah. Badoom Ching, by the way. back and see now keep this under your hats but that hole in the inspector's pocket a dog did that a dog officer what dog inspector Chelmy had um, an altercation with a canine by a path in the northeast corner of town well dogs can sniff out mean people you know it's just more proof that he needs to be nicer. Sir may seem a bit prickly at times, but he's actually quite kind. Would you care to hear a care to hear a puzzle? The inspector once told me. This is not what I signed up for. 
Jelmy sent his squad out to investigate this incident. Before leaving, he said this, I want you to search the entire area shown on this map. Take any route you want, but report how many times you turned in the process. You're free to turn left or right, but U-turns are strictly forbidden. The Bobbies completed their shift and returned to report their turns. Judging by their reports, though it seems, at least one man wasn't telling the truth. Okay, let's brain this through real quick. can only turn two times pretty much like they can only do two turns and I'm guessing the end number here doesn't really matter per se right the end number doesn't matter because if it did it, they would make it seem like the end number was the issue the end number does not seem to be the problem. It's just to be who's lying. Who came up with a, a fake number or something. So, you can only turn two times. So, then we should be working in multiples of two. So, eight is a multiple of two, five and three are not. That zero and six are. This should do the trick. Yeah. A true gentleman yeah. leaves no puzzle unsolved. If they can only turn two times, right? It doesn't matter how many times they turn, they're probably going to have a two number at the end. Because they can only turn left or right. Since they started out on a horizontal path, you can infer that if they turn an odd number of times, they'd end up on a vertical path. Conversely, if they ended, if they made an even number of turns, they'd end up on a horizontal road. You'd need to turn in, in teams of two. Do watch yourselves when you're out on the streets. I keep accidentally hitting the mic. Sorry. Likewise, officer. Ooh, we got another key. We got another key. Father has always done what he wants, regardless of who objects. He's that way with everyone, even his sons. It's no wonder my younger brother always seems so irritated with him. Even so, he and I must endure father's whims, because as the next, as the next in line to the ruler of false sense, to rule false sense, we cannot leave this town, even if we want to. We're stewards of this town, and we must stay to watch over it. Too fucking. 
I'm not doing that. Where's the last piece? Welcome back, sirs. I see you're still busy with the investigation. Though lovely, our town is not quite vast, so take care not to tire yourselves out. I'm sure your feet must be sore, so that so why not sit and enjoy the puzzle I've made? Create another fucking puzzle. Lucky you, you inherited a five square plot of land with rich, precious metals. Each chunk of copper ore has the value of one, silver has a value of three, and each chunk has a whopping total of five. Value of five. You're allowed to pick five squares of land for yourself, but the five squares must be connected to each other. Squares diagonal to each other don't count as connected. Your task is to claim the most value in five square plots as possible. Can you do it? I can sure as hell try. Okay. So that's... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... So that's one way. One, two, three, four, five. So then that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten over here. I'm gonna do that one. So that's three, six, seven, eight, nine. So got nine up here, got ten down here. I'm marking things as I fill things out. Okay, so. So one, two, three, four. And over here you can only get like a four. One, two, three, four. So then three or five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna go with the corner one over here that's ten. This should do the trick. Ten. Huh. Wonderful. Well done, sir. Uh, you should begin. To, you should begin to feel wary from running about town. Do stop to rest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! Another diary entry. I no longer, uh, no longer able to tolerate father's selfish ways. My younger brother has left false sense for good. Strangely enough, father doesn't seem affected by it at all. If anything, he seems to. He only seems more focused on excavating even more gold from the mines. Is that miserable or worth so or worth so much to him? Uh, yeah, is that miserable or worth so much to him? I'm beginning to think I will never understand that man. Where's Flora? Uh, you startled me. Where'd you get off to, Flora? Me? Well, um... Come now, Luke. A gentleman never forces a lady to say more than she wants to. Oops. Of course. Where are my manners? Sorry, Flora. Oh, don't give it a second thought. Say, how'd your investigation go? Did you find out anything more about the Elysian box? A bit, but nothing concrete. What we need is more time to comb through the area with clues. Shut up. Shut up, phone. I don't want to hear from you. We could be quite a while, so if you feel tired, go ahead and turn in, dear. I will. I sure hope you two find good, solid leads soon. I can't find the last fucking photo scrap. Can't fucking find it. This was. I guess I never talked to the shopkeeps. Uh. This is a sticky. Whoa. I have these new items to appraise, but I'm so fatigued that I can't seem to make any headway. You seem to have a rather daunting task on your hands. I think you'd be more productive. Oh, great. I forgot about the fucking, fucking tea! Something relaxing and spicy. Relaxing and spicy. Uh, circulation. 
could be. Could also be. Go with that one, why not? Well, he enjoyed the tea. Uh, yeah, 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 cool, cool, cool. Get out of this so I could. Uh, fucking kidding me. Oh my god. An ancient map depicts possible spots of a vast fortune as well as directions. <sighs> Great. <sighs> Inscribe the numbers 1 through 6 in the map's blank spaces so that each set of numbers in a straight line has the same sum. You can use each number only once, and the sum must be the largest one possible. When you go to the spot marked 1, that's where you'll find your treasure. 4 has been filled in for you. Circle the area where the treasure is hidden. Okay, we'll do this one on my notepad. That one might be a little bit faster. Here's the four. Okay, there's six spots. Six spots. Each one has the same sum. Mm-hmm. We have four there. Uh, hmm. What's the highest number we can get? The highest number that we can put there would be six. So four, six, ten. If we work with ten, we might be able to bring this down. Because it's a pretty high number, right? And we're only doing basic addition. So it'd be kind of hard to overshoot it. Let's put six there, I guess. Or ten. Um, then we need a number that doesn't... An addition problem that doesn't have a four. But includes six. Well, ten, so six. Okay, five definitely can't be in this line. No five. Um, six. Um, calculator. What we went with? So then three and one is ten. So one of one of those two is gonna be one. One of those two has to be the number one. Uh, but we need to get the last one for that one. Okay, so we've used three, one, four, and six. So two and five are left over. Okay. So then three has to go over here. And then where five and two go don't particularly matter. Because one is going to be right here. 
This should do the trick. I did it. Huh. Wonderful. I can brain through math occasionally. Where did my OBS go? There it went. I accidentally closed the tab. Ah. So he has no fucking clue. Can we find Chelmy around here? Somewhere. Uh, he worked up the nerve to walk her to the edge of town. Oh, it's another puzzle. I thought he was showing me something. Yikes! Oh, so ghost in the forest. Or so I thought, until you realized the specter hovering in front of you was just a figure cut out of a wood hanging from the branch. Looking around the area, you notice four pieces of wood scattered in the grass. Which one of these wooden slabs was the ghost cut out from? Alright. So, I'm gonna do something a little bit illegal. I'm gonna trace this bitch with a sticky note. Because then I can turn this main guy any way I want without having to do shit. You know what I mean? Alright. I traced the fucko. So, if he's turned... It's not A. Okay, B is at least the correct orientation. Too small. Um, is size supposed to matter here? I don't know. I don't think it is. Hold on. Some of the- the correct board may have been flipped- oh my god. So this trick didn't even fucking matter! Because it can just be flipped the opposite way, and then... Well then how the fuck am I supposed to solve this? Think you found the answer? You sure? Well, just to be safe, compare its outline to the ghost one more time. Don't forget to look at little details like the shape of its hands. not C, because the hands are upside down on C. What the fuck am I supposed to be doing? I 
I need another hint. Pay extra attention to the length of the ghost's tail. Okay, then it can't be A, because the tail's a bit, t it's not curvy enough. And then we're just back to D and B, which are pretty much fucking identical. These hands look a little weird. They're a bit more closed. Consider this puzzle solved. That took too much fucking work. Huh. Wonderful. Shut up, Layton. That took too much work. I thought you were gonna show us a real ghost. Sorry to get your hopes up, friend. I do hope pulling uh, all jokes aside, one who desires to enter the forest lately, the whole place is overgrown and perilous. Puzzles, apparently. Although he does get the legendary uh, question 69, so I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna question him too hard. The menu you see here has been folded into thirds with print on both sides, meaning there's a total of six pages to it. The boss needs lots of copies, but your copy machine can only copy a maximum of two adjacent menu pages at once. To save time, he wants uh, you want to complete a copy as of the menu with as few passes through the machine as possible. Okay, so this is a write-in answer. Okay, we're gonna figure this one out. So he has no idea. Okay, you just have things to say. I keep not noticing that they, they need tea. Oh, what kind of tea? Secret monster fight and tea handed down from my great granddaddy. So you got joy root clover and a little something else that makes it smoky and obliterating. We need something smoky. We don't fucking have that. Uh, I'd have something. Are you well prepared? I am in no way well prepared. Let's 
gotta have joy root clover. Yeah. Not, not gonna work. Cool, not what I was gonna ask you about. Vampire castle, yeah, we already had this conversation, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're just kinda being crazy in the corner. I can't fucking find anything. cool. There's literally nothing around here. stores 101 stones, each identical in size and feel. There are 50 black stones and 100 white stones. I'll put in this blindfold and reach in and pull out as many stones as you like. When you're finished, if you've removed an equal number of black and white sto stones, you'll receive a number of gold pieces equal to the number of stones you pulled out. How many stones should you remove to get yourself a chance of removing equal numbers of stones while getting the most money? A hundred? And now, to test my theory. That one was there we have it. Too fucking easy. Uh. Tell me go. Pretty sure I saw one over by the gate to the forest. I just met a girl who wanted directions to the hers and castle, and now I bump into you two. What was this girl like? Now we're actually getting lore. She was a cutie pie, probably in her late teens. I guess she's not with you two then. You must be talking about Katya, Professor. She would certainly fit the description. 
You think she's after Duke Curzon's fortune? I didn't get the impression on our brief meeting, but something is odd, that's for certain. But enough talk. We've got a lead on the location of the final photo scrap. We must make our way to the forest gate before the wind blows the clue away. I finally talked to the right person in the right order. I don't care. We're moving. Do you have anything interesting to say? No, no you don't. Ah, fucking puzzle. Thought you'd have nothing interesting to say again. Teams of horses are participating in tug of war matches. All teams are drawn from an eight horse stable. First three matches end in a draw. If you want the fourth match to result in a draw as well, which horses could be used or should be on the team pulling against E and F? Answers all of them. So, A, B, C, A, B, C, D versus E, F, G, and then H, C, B versus G and A, and then D and A. Leave it to me. Yeah. Piece of cake. I did it. Oh my god, they're doing the meme. Oh, I got another diary key. I want to read that. We found a new ore in the ground. Uh, down in the ground that father thinks can refine into a precious metal. Personally, I'll doubt I doubt we'll be able to turn something as dull and dead as that rock into something of worth. Not that it's stopped father. The digging has advanced to the point where it could where it's formed a massive crater under the castle. I have visions of a whole castle tumbling down into the abyss. Meanwhile, elsewhere. So would you say he comes into town pretty often? Oh yeah, I mean, when I think about it. Uh, he rides the Molentary Express for free whenever he wants. I guess that's one of the perks of owning your own railway, huh? Oh, and whenever I see him around, he's always with that shabby looking guy in the conductor outfit. Nine times out of ten, he's chewing out the conductor guy for something or other. He seems to be searching for something. Who knows what, really. Whatever it is, must be pretty special if a rich guy like him can't buy it. I still don't see the fuss over the Elysian box. As far as I'm concerned, it's just a box. Inspector, pardon me, sir, but I've just received word from the headquarters. His alibi checks out. Is that so? And that's it, isn't it? Ha. Ha ha ha. Barton, we've got our man. Gather all the suspects at the hotel, and we'll put this case to bed. Hmm? But, sir, if we know who the murderer is, shouldn't we just arrest, it and arrest him and be done with it? Huh? Barton, sometimes I think you might be the thickest Bobby I've ever met. There's no greater thrill in life than the law officer calling out the guilty party in front of a crowd. This is the moment the whole case has been building up towards. Now gather everyone up for the trouble. Uh, yes, sir. Can we add some bricks inside? And make a dungeon. Uh, maybe. 
There it is. Talk about a spooky place. Do you think the path beyond the gate leads to the castle, Professor? From what I can tell, yes. Gosh, anyone who lives out in the middle of a spooky forest like this must be a little batty. No wonder people think whoever whoever that is is a vampire. Haha, <laughs> show a little courage, my boy. Oh, what's this here? Something stuck on the fence. Sure is, it's the last missing piece of the photograph. I finally got the plot moving in the direction it needs to. And there's another fucking puzzle. Oh, okay, I just need to put the photos in their correct locations. Okay, start with the corner pieces. This looks like to be a bottom corner piece. Along with this one, considering they're wider than they are longer. Put those there for now. Um... Does this... Particularly... Come on. Match up anywhere. There we go. Uh... Okay. Nope. This is probably a middle piece of some variety that I just haven't figured out yet. Oh. This one goes here. This guy's middle piece. Throw it in for now, I guess. Come on, turn. Thank you. There you go. Come on, turn. Turn. Thank you. Okay. Or does this one go down here? Okay, so then this one... Not that one. Fucking... Stop it! Too many things in the way. Too many things. Too many. Too many. Go away. Too many things are in my way. I had that entire bottom line all figured out. Instead, things just got shuffled around. This is annoying. <sighs> Alright, that one goes there. And then that one goes here. Okay. Um... Just turn. Thank you. Middle piece is always the most difficult part.
just leave it to me. Fuck. Oops. Thought okay. I had it. <sighs> okay. Please tell me it didn't undo everything. Okay. There we go. Jesus Here Christ. Goes. That took too much Maybe brain power. The strikes again. What could it be a picture of? Forg. There, that's all of it. Gosh, Professor. Luke, if I would venture to guess, I'd, s I'd say what we see before us is the Elysian box. Look at the top of the design. The box looks like one of the Fountain of False Sense. Oh, it's the... It's the... The ram. Not a frog. Looks like a frog, though. What an unusual emblem. The imagery seems to suggest some sort of demon, doesn't it? Well, it's at least appropriate. That, that seems appropriate, doesn't it? I mean, the box did kill perf uh, poor Dr. Strader, after all. Well, perhaps it did, perhaps it didn't. We won't know until we have the actual item in our hands. For now, the best course of action might be to show this photo to the townsfolk and see what they have to say. Sounds good to me. Who knows, maybe the photo will help jog someone's memory or- Ah! What are we gonna do now? The wind blew away all the photo pieces. What an unfortunate turn of events. With that piece missing, the emblem looks completely different. Less evil and more like a, a frog? Well, if we lose any more pieces, it won't look like much of anything. Let's paste the remaining pieces down so we don't lose any more to the wind. No! When reconstructed, the photograph predicting the Elysian box and the lid looks like an ominous-looking goat, which seems appropriate given the box has a sinister reputation. I can read. Goat. A large, ominous symbol of the shape of a goat decorates the top of the Elysian box. The same symbol can be spotted in some parts of false sense. What connection exists between the box and the town? Work to do regard investigation in town. Professor Layton, sir. Pardon, my good man. Whatever is the matter? The inspectors found the person responsible for Dr. Schrader's murder. I have strict, in strict orders to go around and round everyone up to the hotel as soon as possible. Understood. We'll head there right now. Come on, Luke. Let's hurry. Watch. He's gonna blame us. Watch. Watch. If there's anything the Professor Layton games have in common, it's that they portray anyone who works as a cop or a detective as a complete fucking idiot. Watch. It's gonna be us. Watch. I'll put money on it. Road to Herzen Castle. So we're going to the castle next. Ooh. That shop's so smelly, I have to play out here or I'll pass out. That really, uh, stinks. It's okay, I brought some snacks to nibble on, so at least I'm not bored. Here, we can share them. That's another fucking puzzle. You have a box with four different kinds of delectable candy arranged in no particular order. Your job is to divide these treats into five equal portions using your stylus to do so. You need to make sure each portion contains the exact same number and variety of snacks. Furthermore, all the sweets in a single portion must be connected to each other either vertically or horizontally, but not diagonally. This thing... This game has a has a thing against diag diagonals, doesn't it? Okay. Exact same number and variety of snacks. Okay. Well, there's not five different types of candy here. Hmm. 
Not memo button. Okay. So it just needs... Okay. Variety is what's gonna kick my ass here. There's a lot of these ones, so I'm guessing we need those. So... We'll do that first. Now, because then the sides over here is fucked. So. Uh. Huh. Right. And then. And that's two there. There's gotta be a line there, right? Or at least one here. Okay, hold on. So, this one... And then this one... Uh... No, oh, shit, that doesn't work. So if we... That one. Close to that to me. Yeah, okay. I Here's can sort cake. things, all right? Oh, what it up now? Ow. Stretching. Here's one for you. Thanks a bunch. These candies taste like raw garlic. Oopsie. Guess all this garlic in the shop made the snacks taste weird. I'll have to throw them out. New hamster toy. Hamster. Lady. Because he's crying about wanting tea and I'm not gonna give him. I'm not gonna give him tea, are you kidding me? It's a lot of work that I don't wanna do. Alright, back to the hotel. Ah, Mr. Layton. I'm glad you could finally join us. With you here, we now have every suspect in the murder of Dr. Schrader gathered in this room. Everyone's just chilling out. Like, uh-huh. A few days ago, renowned archaeologist Dr. Andrew Schrader was found dead in his London home. His murderer is still at large, but look around you. Every one of you sitting here could be the culprit. Suspect me? Utter nonsense. What reason could I have to possibly kill a man I don't even know? It's slow on the uptake, huh? Mr. Beluga, every person in this room is after the Elysian box. That box ties each of you to our dead man, so there's no doubt that one of you here did the deed. I'm sure putting this case together has been a triumph of police work, Inspector. So tell me, what facts have you unearthed these last few days? Watch closely now, Mr. Layton. Uh, watch closely now, Mr. Layton. This is how we unravel mysteries in Scotland Yard. You have my full attention, Inspector. Please, hypothesize away. I first learned a false sense through evidence obtained in the late doctor's office. According to his notes, Schrader spent quite some time in this town researching the Elysian box. 
When I learned he died shortly after returning home to London, everything came into focus. I believe our criminal first spotted the doctor when he was inquiring about the Elysian box here in town. Spying a chance to obtain the coveted box, the fiend followed the doctor to London and murdered him. Oh, uh -huh. what a deduction worthy of London's finest. So, out with it. Who's our man? Hold your horses, I'm getting there. Again, watch. He's gonna say it's Leighton. I'm, I'm putting virtual, non-existent money on it. Meaning I'm not putting any money on it, but I'm definitely... I'm... Look. To summarize, the culprit must have been to fall since before. What's more, the person also had the ability to travel freely between here and London. Now, as we know, only those affiliated with the Molotary Express have that ability. And now all eyes turn to Mr. Beluga, eh? Well, turn him back. Mr. Beluga stated he was in London conducting business that day, and his alibi checked out. Hmm? But if it's not Mr. Beluga... That's right, our murderer stands right here before us. Damn it! Look, the game is like, oh yeah, it's gotta be Leighton. It's gotta be. Damn it. Oh, it was Sammy. What? You gotta be kidding, man. I know Mr. Beluga's ordered you to turn over every stone in this town to find the Elysian box. He worked you like a dog and re you've resented that treatment, so you decided to beat him to the punch and make off with this precious box. This is an outrage, Samuel. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm being framed. You're out of your gourd, man. Hmm. I see now why the box eluded me for so long. You've been holding out on me, Samuel. No, I haven't. I swear on my favorite leather pants. Come on, Uncle. You know me. I'm not that crazy. You have plenty of time to tell your story back in London from a cell. Come along now. So it was the conductor, after all. I didn't think he had it in him, but at least we can all rest easy. Professor, do you really think Sammy could have committed such an awful crime? Well, all we have is a single torn photograph recovered from the doctor's room. Oh, that's the Elysian box? What a very- wow, very fancy. I like the goat design on top. If you've been following the game thus far... Oh my. Flora. Hmm? Thank you, Flora. I knew something didn't feel quite right, but thank you. It all comes into focus. Really? Do tell, Professor. Oh, come on, officer, man. My only crime is rocking. And rocking ain't a crime. Yeah. Let me go. <laughs> Let me go. You'll come along quietly if you know what's good for you. Just a moment, Inspector Shelby. I believe we've all committed a large and rather unfortunate oversight. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something right now, Leighton? Where are you going with this, Professor? No one here has ever seen the Elysian box that we've been looking for. The one and only piece of visual evidence we possess is this torn photograph. And get to the point. The point is this, Inspector. The only person who could know what the Elysian box looks like is the suspect you're after. And it is this person who must have stolen the box in the first place. Yes, and I've got the slippery fellow right here. Ow! Take it easy, officer. Pipe down, you hooligan. And watch the hair, will ya? Wow! Sorry to disappoint, but he's not the culprit. Score. What? Stop talking in circles and get to the point, Leighton. Who should be wearing the handcuffs? Isn't it obvious? If the criminal does he just stands off his tea. Him, <laughs> like <he laughs> Luke hold my back. Like <laughs> to see the Elysian box in person, which means the culprit. Uh, huh? Must be you there. <gasps> what? Flora. <laughs> <laughs> Again, he really just handed the tea off Inspector, to Luke and said, hold my bag. <laughs> Watch this! 
I'm sorry. Inspector, look That's here. That's the photo I dropped. Indeed. Sorry, they're still doing voice this, acting for those lines. who don't know, is a piece of evidence recovered by the inspector. It's a photo of the Elysian box, and I have every confidence that this shot depicts the real thing. So, this little knick-knack here is what started the whole mess? Uh, to be honest, it's a bit outlandish for my taste. What with the bizarre frog head on it. Aha! I see you've put the pieces together too, Luke. Inspector, the emblem decorating the top of this box depicts not a frog, but a goat. A goat? I dropped my sticky notes. Hold on. Not by my eyes, it doesn't. That's just it. This photograph is missing the piece containing the goat's eyes. In its current form, the image looks like a frog to most people, as was the case with you, Inspector. Flora, dear, I believe you said the design looked like a cute goat, did you not? He's just so willing to throw her under the bus, like, you got some explaining to well, do. that clears things up nicely. If you say you saw a goat, that must mean you've seen the real Elysian box before. Why you? Who are you really? Immediately is like, you're not Flora, are you? <laughs> that was a weak-ass villain <laughs> laugh. Well played, Leighton. I like that. I like that. I'm sure you're very proud of yourself for seeing through my disguise again. Why'd you dress up like a little girl, man? Curse you, Leighton. Curse you and that floppish hat of yours. Oh, floppish. Don Palo. I beat you to the box and given and given a little more time, I would have beaten you to cracking its secret. Of course, the hers and fortune would have been mine. Batship has sailed now. You're the one who took the Elysian box all along. Another brilliant deduction from Leighton's apprentice. Clearly, he's learned from the best. Hold on. There we go. But yes, you're right, little man. I stole it from that old fool while he was snoozing on the floor. Geezer probably caught a cold sleeping on the ground like that. Not that I care. One iota. Snoozing? But Dr. Strader wasn't sleeping on the floor. Hey, wait a second. If you've been posing as Flora, where's the real Flora? Oh, she's probably making hay angels with cows in that old drop star dropstone bar barn I left her in. Or maybe she's sitting there fuming because you bumblers didn't even notice we switched places. But I must thank you two dolts for your help. You've given me more than enough information. The jig might be up, but the dance is far from over. I'm so close to unlocking the secret of the Elysian box. Now I merely need to take the box to the... Hold it right there, you scoundrel. Ah! Got a lot of questions, and you will answer them once you've... I've escorted you back to London. Where do you think you're going? You slippery devil. You meddlesome oaf. You have no idea how slippery I can be. Ah! Don't just stand there, the worm's getting away. <laughs> Fool, you really you really think a soft-bodied flat foot like yourself could catch me? So long, Leighton. Mm. Think you can give me the slip, eh? I'll catch you yet. Oh wait for me, Inspector. <laughs> shake a leg. I didn't think they had it in him. I must say, I never, I never once suspected Don Palo of being posed as Flora, and for so long. Sure hope the real Flora is okay. We absolutely can't forget to pick her up on the way back to London. Of course we won't. But I'm sure Flora's having a grand old time playing with the cows. Another thing I can't get out of my head is what Don Palo said about Dr. Schrader. He said he was talking. It didn't sound like he killed Dr. Schrader. 
But if he didn't, who did? I think you're spot on there, Luke. Something else is responsible for the doctor's death. Right now I'd say the Elysian box is the key to learning what that something was. And I've guessed we've reached a dead end. If only Don Paolo didn't run off with the... Professor, look! It's the box! Holy shit! Well, look at that. Don Paolo must have dropped it when he was running away from Inspector Chamley. Or Chemley. Chelmy, sorry. I can't speak. Nor can I tell his name. So this is it from the Elysian box. At last, the box. Inside sleeps the key to uncovering a massive family fortune. I beg your pardon, sir? Mr. Layton, I'm gonna ask you to hand over that box. As the son of Duke Hurt, as the late Duke Hurts, and I'm the rightful owner to that box. This box belongs to the Hersens? Heard of a he heard of a herring boy? Inside that box is the key to cracking open the secret of the Hersen fortune. Seeing how I share my bloodline with that box, that box should pass on to the ha my hands and no one else's. Oh my, that does change things. I suppose we'll have to. Mr. Beluga, listen to yourself. You're no more entitled to that box than I am, or any other person in this room, for that matter. You listen here, Porter. This is none of your business, so I suggest you keep your opinions to yourself. No, I'm sorry, but I won't stand by and watch as that box is taken as your own. If anyone here has the rightful claim to that box, it's the current Duke of False Sense himself. Besides, I've heard about you. You turned your back on this town and left of your own free will. In my book, your claim to the fortune was lost the day you walked out of False Sense. Oh, is that so? You got some nerve, buddy. If what Mr. Cran says is true, I'm afraid I can't hover this, hand over this box in good conscience, sir. Hey, Unko, what do you say we give up on chasing the box? Keep that stuff on the DL is exhausting. Don't tell me how to run my affairs, Samuel. You've forgotten who signed your paychecks. I never even wanted to be a conductor in the first place. Plus, running, playing errand boy is getting old, man. It's more than a guy like me can take. Sammy Thunder was born to work a 9-to-5 gig. Sammy Thunder was born to rock. Hey, world, I'm climbing, I'm climbing back on that rock train and riding it to the top. Ah, Samuel, what are you babbling about? Come back here at once. I'm sorry, Mr. Beluga, but I think I'll have to hold on to this box for the moment. Fine, do what you want. I hope that awful box curses all of you twice over. So it seems Don Paolo wasn't responsible for the doctor's death in the end. Maybe it really was the Elysian Box's fault after all. Yes, it sounds like the doctor had already collapsed by the time Don Paolo arrived on the scene. Perhaps you're right, Luke. The box could very well contain a lethal element that killed the doctor. But without seeing how the box's effect in action, how can we be sure? Surely you don't mean... I do, Luke. We must open the box ourselves. It's the only way. Please, just hold on a moment. Hmm? Katya? Is there any way I can convince you to let me have that box? It's of vital importance. Before I do that, I would need to know more first. Why is this box so important to you? I'm sorry, it's not for me to say. I must deliver that box to, to somebody very important. I must. Who is this person? I can't tell you anymore, but once I'm done, I'm certain the awful curse will go away forever. The curse will end, and, and everything will be done and over with, and he'll... Whatever do you mean, dear? Help! Somebody, anybody, come quick! Someone just got taken to the Herzen Castle. The vampire's gonna suck his blood in the morgue, and he's gonna steal his soul. Why did it have to be him? Why? He was such a stand-up guy, too. What? No, that's impossible. Wait, Katya, where are you running off to? Wow, she left in a hurry. Maybe all this vampire talk scared her. Do you think she was to- Uh, do you think she was talking- Oh. Uh, do you know what she was talking about? God, I can read. I feel like I can only follow half of what she said. As far as I'm con I am just as confounded as you are, Luke. But after our discussion, I am I'm doubly sure that this box contains a greater secret. The path to understanding everything lies right here before us. While potentially perilous, opening the box seems to be the only course of action left. Understood, Professor. Good then. Let's take this to our room so we can open the box away from prying eyes. No, we're gonna die. Mm, finally, the Elysian box. Indeed, Luke. 
か Empty. The box is empty, and we're still alive. Then it would seem my theory was correct. What do you mean, Professor? We must head back in town and do a bit more asking around. I need to confirm my suspicions. What would those suspicions be, Leighton? He never actually ends up talking to the audience. Good evening, sirs. Please forgive my outburst earlier. It wasn't very professional of me. Not at all. Your testimony was incredibly helpful. Listening to you talk, I've got the impression you were, you're well versed in the Herzen family history. Well, I suppose you could say that. When he was alive, the Duke of Herzen often favored our fine hotel with his patronage. I have very warm memories of his kindness towards me, even when I was just a lowly bellhop. Back when the Duke was still with us, the whole Falls Ends, bu the whole falls ends buzzed with energy and activity. But once the mining stopped and the Duke passed on, our town turned into quite the gloomy place. After his passing, who stepped in to take his place? Did he have any children? As I recall, Mr. Beluga's brother stepped up to take the Duke's place. That's all I really know about. The situation that I heard our current Duke is quite young. And on the vampire rumors, I know I'm sure you've heard. You know everything that I do. Hey, Sammy. It's my main dudes. You're the only reason I didn't get ca I didn't catch that bogus charge. Say thanks, I pulled some strings with the museum curator and got him to open up the place for you. It's not much, but maybe you'll do some you'll find some righteous info there to help your case. Make sure you check it out. Thanks, Sammy. It's got pretty hairy back there. But it got pretty hairy back there for a little bit, didn't it? I still haven't gotten over discovering that Mr. Beluga is actually part of the Herzen family. Yeah, Uncle never really told me much about that. I just know that he had some kind of blowout with his dad, the Duke, and decided to leave for good. Uh, he didn't talk a lot about his brother he left behind, though. It was a real soft spot for the guy. But now, look, uh, but now that gnarly vampire is running around the castle. Hate to say it, but I doubt anyone survived that wicked, scary monster moving in. Ah, another diary key. Going to the museum. After I read that diary entry. Today is the day to celebrate. At long last, the girl I love has agreed to give me her hand in marriage. I must begin preparing for her arrival at once. I'll gladly charge I'll gladly change out the castle's decor if it makes her feel more at ease here. I'm also commissioning a special dress to be made for her. She's going to look stunning in it, I just know it. To the thingy. Yoink. Inside. Hello. So very thirsty. God damn it. It's another fucking tea puzzle. Cup of tea. Sweet and smoky. I don't have anything smoky. Oh, it's gone side then. Hello. Welcome, friends. I'm Grinko, the curator of the Herzen Museum. We have an extensive collection of artifacts pertaining to the history of this town and the Herzen family. Sammy told me about you two. I hope you find the resources helpful during your research. Please feel free to pursue the collection to your heart's content. Oh, peruse. Not pursue. Peruse. I can speak. Shut up.
Professor, take a look at this case of knickknacks. Those appear to be common household items owned by the Herzen family. Some of them look positively ancient. Quite. The Herzen family clearly has a long and rich family history. It's one impressive statue. I guess that must be Duke Herzen, huh? This entire museum appears to be dedicated to celebrating his achievements, so I have to agree. But wait a second, I thought Mr. Beluga owns this place. Yes, I believe that is the case. Isn't it funny he built this whole place to honor his father? Maybe he's not so bad after all. I see you've taken quite an interest in that picture. Is that what I think it is? It's a photograph of the entire Herzen family who were responsible with the false senses was in legendary wealth. The distinguished older gentleman is the on the left is Duke Herzen. His youngest son, Frederick, in the middle, and his eldest son, Anton, to the right. That Frederick is Mr. Beluga, the founder of the Monetary Ex Monetary Express, is it not? Oh, you know him? Well, in addition to owning the railway, Frederick is a friend of mine and owner of this museum. It's a sad story, really. He cut all ties with his father and left town 50 or so years ago. When he left, he took a small portion of the Herzen wealth and used it to start his railway. Yes, Frederick is quite the... Has is quite a study in contradictions. He disliked his father enough to change his name, but he returned to false sense and founded this museum. Did the feud extend to all members of the family? No, Frederick and Anton were always close, but their relationship with their father was never the same after that fateful day. What day was that, sir? The day Duke Curzon discovered the vein of gold that brought the, so much wealth to, wealth to false sense. He was a different man after that. Something in him changed. Greed, perhaps. Well, yes, that. But there was something more than greed infesting his heart. What do you think it was? I... no. I think it's best if we end that chat here. It's not my place to speculate about what goes on in the hearts of other people. Of course. Tell me this, though. Do you know where we can find Anton now? That's a good question. I hear rumors that he might still be living in that old castle. I can't imagine anyone would live in a place so run down like that. People call, it, people call it a vampire den. Gracious, look at how long we've been chatting. I think it's time for me to get back to work. Please, look around for as long as you'd like. I guess even rich people have problems, huh? Hmm. This place sure has a lot of stuff. Do you suppose this is a picture of the late Duke? I believe so, yes. The old Duke Herzen died a while back and left behind a massive fortune. If he's gone, who's this vampire the whole town's talking about? Sammy mentioned that Mr. Beluga has an older brother here. I'd say he's likely the man at the heart of this talk. But if he's Mr. Beluga's older brother, wouldn't he have to be old and feeble by now? I thought vampires didn't age. Hmm. Correct in believing that you two are on a search. For, you are searching for a lead on the Elysian box. I can read. Yes, that's right. Would you happen to know anything about it? I'm sure you already know the Elysian box is a Herzen family heirloom. At Mr. Beluga's request, we've been researching the history of False Sense in the Herzen family. In doing so, I uncovered a secret of this town that reveals the truth of the Elysian box. Intriguing. What is the secret you speak of? It's easy to ask that question when you don't know where you're getting into, Mr. Layton. But if you're thirst for the truth, and you're ready to face it, you'll do well to visit the town mine. Many miners used to keep little journals down there to document their time below ground. If you can find one of those, you'll have a first-hand account of what transpired back then. Thank you for the advice. We'll have a, go we'll have a look ourselves. Come, Luke. Let's head to the mine. Ah, new diary key. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're looking for the mine at the edge of town. Which I imagine is, like, in the forest. Old diary. All around town, people are falling 
ill to a disease that has no name. Some of the common folk have been saying that our town has fallen under a curse. As the only son remaining to watch over Fall Sense, I can't even think of leaving. The thought would be more disturbing as it were for her. As long as she's by my side, I have the strength to stay and protect this town. Ooh. Okay. We're not messing with the hamster. Wrong button. This button. We're not messing with hamster. This is not a hamster moment. Where it has the arrow up top. I'm just, you just follow that arrow if you see on the second screen, the small one. Puzzle. A girl takes her dog out. At first, she carries her dog for 10 seconds, then her dad steps out. At this point, the girl sets the dog down and keeps walking. Uh, the dog immediately runs over to the dad, and upon reaching him, he turns around and runs back to the girl. The dog keeps doing this until the dad catches up with the girl. The dog runs five feet per second, the dad walks two feet per second, and the girl walks one foot per second. How far does the dog run by the time the dad catches up with the daughter? Hmm. Math. Okay. So... So then you can use that to measure their distance between each other. So they're ten ish feet away from each other. They have to be, right? So the father would catch up. seconds because if she's moving one and he moves two in ten seconds so we're talking how far does the dog run 50 and now to test my theory I can math a true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. I can math. That was a sticky note, by the way. I can math. Nice. Finally got the last fucking ingredient. Too lazy to figure all this out. All right.
All right, we got all the T-types. We're good. Okay, we have all the T-types. We're good. Let's rock and roll. Into the forest. Hey, guy. See these shades? They're my favorite pair, but no matter how much I wipe them, everything's still blurry. From where I stand, the lenses look just fine. Perhaps the root of the problem is in your glasses. Tell me, do your eyes feel strained? Hmm, now that you mention it, I guess they do. Well, I'll be. Aren't you the fast thinker? If you can learn to relax, your eyes might feel better. How about a cup of tea to aid in a little effort? Tea? Huh? Well, heck, if it's no bother, I guess I'll take you up on the offer. Something relaxing and a little spicy and earthy. Okay. Relaxing, spicy, and earthy. Unwinding. He needed something to unwind with. Okay, cool. I don't really care about this dialogue, to be honest. Now, if you could just talk to me, like for real. But you must have nerves of steel coming all the way out here. That doesn't mean I won't test what you're made of. Okay, well, I wasn't exactly looking for a puzzle, but I'll take it, I guess. Uh. Ugh. Below are 16 cards. There are four cards from each suit. Diamond, club, spade, and heart. Your cards are arranged in 4x4 four four grid as shown below. And four cards have already been put out. Arrange the remaining cards so that each vertical column, horizontal row, and diagonal line of four cards contains one card from each suit. Okay. How am I supposed to work this? Move these things. We'll solve that later. How about that? I'll solve it later. I, I don't even know how to fucking move that. I'm not gonna do that. Gates locked shut. Let's go. Yeah. Must be the mine we heard about, Professor. Yes, and it appears to be just sealed off. Just imagine it. They used to dig for gold here. From what we've heard about the gold chain... Yep. Yeah. Wait, what? 
The gold changing the town. There must have been a ton of it down here. But if it did so much for the town's development, why would they seal it off? That's a question we might be able to answer if we find some account of what transpired here. No sense in any more speculation. Let's venture in. Really just no regard for personal safety, huh? Ah, hint going. Door. The door isn't gonna open, Professor. Yes, it would seem we need to solve this puzzle first. Ugh. The button that opens the door in the front is buried deep within this machine. So you can push it directly down by pulling the knob at the top to the left or right. You can move various gears and plates in the machine, allowing you to press the button at the bottom. Consider this puzzle solved. It's a 50-50 chance. Fuck! Ah, uh, well. I suppose you can't win them all. Well, I tried. It was a 50-50 shot. And now to test my theory. Huh. I did it. Wonderful. Smile. Totally didn't guess. Excellent. The door is open now. Let's proceed. Shit. Something on the wall here. Most certainly a puzzle. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Hmm. Joy. All the doors in this maze below only open in one direction. Each door can be opened by pushing from the direction shown below. But when approached from the opposite direction, no amount of pulling or pushing will open it. If you try... Uh, ah. If you tried... to go through the whole maze from the start and pass through every room, you'd never make it to the exit. However, this feat would be possible if one of the doors could open in the opposite direction. Can you find and circle this door? Uh... This one? Well, it's gotta be, like, at least semi-connected to a central area, right? Apprentice strikes again. <laughs> Finally solved it. It's odd, Professor. Why would someone go through the trouble of placing a puzzle down here? Perhaps the miners made puzzles to pass the time between shifts as they worked in the mine. I got another diary key. Oh, this wretched life of mine, the girl I love and whom I was betrothed, has abandoned me and fled false sense. Did all that awful talk of curses scare her off, or did she truly leave me to be with someone she lo else she loves? Either way, she betray her betrayal cuts me to the core. I trusted her, and now I'm lost. Where do I go from here? What's left for me? Back. Yeah, the bridge brings me back to the other room. Make a trip, make a trip. Down the elevator. We need to get this lift running again. If we want to head further into the mine, but how to do that? Aha, I see some wires over there. I bet they're the reason the lift isn't moving. Let's see. Go ahead and reconnect them, Luke. That should fix our problem. Why are you asking the child to do it? 
Oh, God, no. Okay. Let's see what I can do. Jesus. Whoops. Oh my god, they need to trade places? You're kidding me. Jesus Christ, it took too long. Hmm, let's see if this works. That was almost too easy. Sure. He was 12. Sure. I think that took me like 40. Getting started is always the hardest part with those ones. 
Excellent. I suppose our next move should be to head down. Yay. Oh boy, I wonder what this is. Be it's safe to hold some journals of Grink ones that Grinka mentioned. Well, we won't know until we open it, but how do we open it? The lock's rather complicated. Let me see if I can decipher the code. Oh, thanks, Layton. Because you're so fucking helpful. Find the four-number code that opens the safe. You can use the numbers 0 through 5 in your answer. But each number can only be used once. The small lights next to each row of numbers are the key to finding the code. As they tell you how much in common that row has with the final code. Each white light indicates a number that matches one in the code, but a different place within the sequence. An orange light indicates a number that is in the code and in its correct spot. Hook. So, first one, two are in the correct area, and two are used. So, number one has all the numbers that we're going to need. So, three does not exist in that first thing. Right? White light indicates a number that matches one in the code, but is in a different place. The orange light... Okay, orange light means incorrect spot. And white just means that there's one there. That isn't in the correct spot. So this one has all f four lights lit up. So four, one, five, and zero are in the code. Four, one, five, and zero. So anything that has the number three doesn't fucking matter. In number two, one is in the correct spot. And two are there that aren't in the correct spot. Wait. Two are in the correct spot, one isn't. Okay, so then we have zero, five, and four, because three can't exist if all four at the top are true. So then we have two in the correct spot in the last one. Zero, one, and two. And, like, none are so the two that are in the third one is probably going to be the biggest help here. And then in the last one, one is in the correct spot, but the other two are also present. So five, one, and four. So in the first row, the possibility is either four or zero. Right? Yeah, the possibility is either four or zero. And that's a 50-50, but... Hmm. I have a feeling there's a way to narrow it down. In the second one, it says that there are two there, but one of them is in the correct place. So either the zero, four, or five is in the correct place there, and the other two are out of place. However, in the third one, it says... that there's numbers in the code that are in the same spot and that one has the line 0, 1, 2. So it's either the 0, the 1, or the 2. And that gives a bit more information than the 4. We'll... We'll try the 0 in the first spot. 
because four doesn't appear in that line at all. However, we still have the two to deal with. No, wait. No, we don't. The two, the two doesn't appear at all. So it's the zero and the one that are in the first line because two and three aren't in this code if the very top says that four, one, five, and zero are the numbers in the code. So then it's zero, one, and then if the second one says that two are in the correct and one is in the incorrect, if zero is in the correct form, then it has to be five, four. And now to test my theory. Your A streamer has brain cells. No puzzle okay? unsolved. Your streamer's smart as shit. You're welcome. That did the trick. Oh, uh. Kitty, thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying me struggling to solve puzzles, I guess. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Have a look at this, Professor. This looks like the worker's journal, the thing we've been looking for, Luke. Perhaps I could shed some light on what transpired here. Let's see what it says. Ooh, more long reading. I love this. Ugh. We dug up some funny m mineral that I've never seen before here in the Duke's gold deposit. He's sure the ore can be refined into some other kind of precious metal. Personally, I feel like there's something sinister about the stuff. Not that the Duke cares a bit. No, he'll have his way and we'll keep digging. I'll bet my life on that. Some other kind of precious metal. But I thought it was a gold mine. Ever since we unearthed that awful ore, folks have been dropping like flies from some unknown illness. Many people in town are sick. That's half of our workforce that stopped coming in. What in the world is going on here? Gosh, that's terrible. So many people must have been sick. False Sense run, run as a gleaming beacon of prosperity is at its end. This town is cursed and ruined. Ooh. Super impressive. Just got in. Thank you. Thank you. I know. I'm, I just have such a massive cranium on me that I just... You know, it's totally not like I've struggled for like 30 minutes <laughs> to try to solve a stupid puzzle. Yay. I suspected we're just days away from shutting down this awful mine for good. I leave this diary behind so that anyone who tries to reopen the mine thinks twice. How odd, the date from the last entry is about 50 years ago. That can't be right. The mine was running up until recently. Yes, or so we've been told. That has me thinking. Both this diary and Grinko suggest a connection between the Elysian box and the events in the mine. From what I can tell, all of this traces back to the single man, the Duke himself. Even if he himself is long gone, his castle may yet contain the answers to all of our questions. So, uh, does that mean we have to go and visit the spooky castle? <laughs> Do you mean to tell me you're scared of the place? Of course not. A million vampires wouldn't scare me. If there's truly a vampire living in that castle, I'd very much like to make his acquaintance. Don't say things like that, Professor. If we met one, I'm sure he'd eat us on the spot. To the castle. Yeehaw. I believe we've retrieved all the records we came for. Let's take our leave. What's this? The lift is out of service again. <laughs> Another fucking puzzle. I say, this won't do. Oh, but look here. There's a set of buttons built into the wall. Surely one of these buttons will lift, lift us back up, but they're disconnected. Oh, joy. Oh, fun. The wire's connecting to the elevator. Uh, the elevator to the button controlling it have somehow been severed. However, if you can connect the negative and positive wires on the top to the wires carrying the same charge below, uh, you can fix the elevator. To do this, you need to draw lines between a set of X-shaped terminals. 
draw two lines to connect each positive and negative terminal to its counterpart and get the elevator running again. Okay. Okay. All right. Um... I'm following some wires right now, Chief. <laughs> Alright, so... These two... And... I need to follow the other positive wire. Uh, this one... To this one, if I tracked that negative correctly. Consider this puzzle solved. Fuck! Oh, okay, my. not correct. This one is quite formidable. Did you make sure to connect the positive wire to the negative wire with the same charge symbol? Okay. Alright. here, yeah? And the negative kind of just na, 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 and then under and then under and over and then under and then bam so then these two right connect and then the negative to this side kind of goes around around here and then around over and through to here and then the positive to this side does this thing Right? Draw two lines to con connect each positive. Oh. It doesn't want a positive negative. Well, shit. Consider this puzzle solved. A true I was reading it as a no positive and negative and needs a positive positive. Shit. The buttons appear to be working. We should be able to leave the mine now. Yeehaw. Let's get the bug out of here. Beep. Beep. Oh, a guy. Olaf. Friend son, I'm happy to see you. I was sure we'd never see another soul again. Hey, I know you. I was traveling El Mundo. Last thing I remember, I was El Transito to Egypt. To me, tell me, Bite, how long ago were these fine pyramids built? Sorry, sir, you're not in Egypt. Do you remember how you got here? I haven't the foggiest, senor. Uh, un momento, I'm heading for Africa. The next minito, I'm down here. With no one poking around, I started poking at this thing to pass the time, and it broke it. Help me fix it, s'il vous plaît. Okay. We're fixing his shit now. Okay. Small ornaments dangle from a metal bar, and they've thrown the bar off balance. The five ornament strings are placed equally apart with each of the three types of ornaments weighing a different amount. The heaviest ornament weighs the same as the three lightest ones. While the medium ornament weighs the same as the two lightest ornaments. What? Place a single ornament in the rectangle space marked with a question mark to restore the bar's balance. Well, I kind of don't want to have the mental capacity, so we're just going to brute force and this. Now to test my theory. I'm just that fucking lucky, guys. Leaves no puzzle I'm unsolved. just that lucky. Did you see that? I didn't even have to try. I didn't even try. I just went, yup. We're guessing. 
I don't, I don't care. Oh, another diary entry. Ever since she left, Father and I have been at each other's throats day and night. The mysterious disease plaguing this town continues to drive people to flee their homes for safer life elsewhere. If only she had stayed with me, I feel like I could have weathered the storm. I still ask why she left this town if she truly loved me, then why did she leave? I'm reading someone's diary. For fun. Oh, Mr. Layton. Hello, mister. What brings you to these parts? Well, to be blunt, sir, I've been doing a bit of spying on you for some time now. You've led quite the investigation, and it won't be before long it all snaps into focus for you. It's for this reason I can no longer hide the truth of this place from you. What are you getting at, sir? You've seen at my studio. All those pictures of the town there. Are, those are all pictures I took. The ones at the station are my work as well. Those photographs have held my interest for some time now. As they should, Mr. Layton. But do you remember our last meeting in my shop? You pointed out a certain strange phenomenon occurring in these photos taken within false sense. Yes, just one curiosity among the many I've seen in this town. It feels as though the whole false sense conspiracy keeps a, hidden, keeps a secret hidden from us. Your feeling is right, sir. You see, false sense is a cursed town. Cursed? To call it as it may seem base. To call it such may seem base. I don't know if that's supposed to be a different British word. But I assure you, the town's past is the very definition of the word. Perhaps the curse is a punishment we're meant to endure for the great mistakes of our past. But all nightmares eventually end, and I feel it won't be long now before we awaken. Ha! Huh? I encourage you to head to that castle in the distance and meet Duke Anton. Is this Anton the eldest son of the previous duke? It is. Duke Anton has presided over the Herzen Castle since his father passed some time ago. I served the Herzen family till that day fifty years ago, then I left it all behind and fled. I don't think Anton will ever forgive me. You see, he's a man who, who abhors betrayal above all else. What transpired fifty years ago? The answer to all your questions can be found in the castle, and I urge you to head there. Perhaps a voice of reason like yourself may persuade Duke Anton to listen. If you believe it, we'll settle the matter. We'll visit the castle. Yes, see with your own eyes what has become of this town. Perhaps we'll finally reach the end of this very dark tunnel we've all been traveling through. I believe our destination's been chosen for us this time. You know where we must go, don't you? The people I've talked to are, scary, are scared to death of the vampire. They say he's living up in the castle. And the chat with that photographer only raises more questions. What happened 50 years ago? And what the heck is going on with that castle? Almost overnight, the Herzen family became incredibly wealthy. Then they discovered that gold claim. If we can understand the story behind that, our question to the Elysian box will be answered. But how are we going to get into the castle, Professor? I don't think we can just kind of waltz... It's the kind of place we can just waltz into. I thought by now we'd, you'd know exactly how to get in, Luke. What do you mean? The carriage tracks we saw on the road to the castle are still very fresh. It would seem that the carriage is bringing something to the castle every day. We need only to follow the carriage and find our way inside the castle. Oh, of course, the carriage. That's our ticket in. Now you've got the picture. I'm ready to go whenever you are, Professor. Just lead the way. Goat. The symbol is actually a crest belonging to the family who once ruled Falsens. The Herzens, uh, Falsens the Herzens. It's clear that the Herzen family and the Elysian box are deeply connected to each other. The gate's still shut tight. In order to get in, we simply have to wait for the carriage to arrive. See, there's the carriage now. Quick, hide! Ooh, spooky, the screen shook. The gate's open now, and we've escaped their, de their detection. We're going to enter, this is our only chance. Move quickly. Here we go, into the castle. You're sure this forest is the only way to the castle, right? I'm not gonna lie, this place is beyond spooky. Little man's getting spooked. 
Luke, what's the matter? A ghost appeared over there a second ago. Oh, Luke, you know there's no such thing as ghosts. Your eyes must be playing tricks on you. But I'm positive I saw it, Professor. Deep breaths, Luke. When on the edge of something even as harmless as a gnarled tree, it can look like a ghost. I suppose so. Feeling better? Good. Come along. We mustn't let the carriage get too far ahead. It's been tipped over. It's pitch black out here, Professor. Yes, without some sort of light, I don't believe we'll be able to advance. What do we have here? We're in luck, my boy. I think I found someone who left a lantern here. That utter puzzle. Use the lamps to light up the dark forest paths. For each lamp, assume the light reaches to the end of any straight road. Use the newest lamps possible to light up all the paths. Where should the lamps go? Can I, like, test my theory? What if I just... There we go. No, I'm sure that's not the uh, the answer that they want. Okay. Let's think about this. Someone made popcorn. I can smell it. I smell it with me schnoz. Now I just want popcorn. Fuck. Mimi want popcorn now. Okay. If I put one here. Okay. And then... Okay, hold on. I'll, I need to, like, something like that. I feel like these ones aren't covered, though. This line isn't covered. Go on here to get the weird road there. Here gets these lines. Right. Then this one here should take care of the last one, right? Because it gets these ones. Okay. Uh oh. Right order, but in reverse. And now to test my theory. I was a focusing on the wrong corner. No puzzle unsolved. I, I was focusing on the wrong corner. Yeah. Aha! Now we've got light. Curious though, isn't it? Who would leave a perfectly good lantern out here? I can't imagine someone simply forgot it here. It's almost like someone's leaving a trail for us. Through to the castle. Mushroom. Large. Look at this strange mushroom, Professor. Curious. I've never seen this type before. Let me study it a moment before we move on. Ah, it's coming with a puzzle. Alright. 
Collect all of the mushrooms in this forest as you pass through. Each circular clearing on the map contains mushrooms. You don't want to spend too long in the creepy forest, though, so find the quickest route through all the visits, clearing each only once. Stay on the roadways. No. Shit. I'm close, though. I'm trying to figure out if I can start this way and get back around to these two because I don't I don't think I can. You know what I mean? If I go there. Um... Gets all of them, but doesn't lead back to the goal, though. And there's still one missing. What if... Uh... And then... Kind of the up and over thing. And then... These. I think I did it. Oops. I to move my window for OBS. Uh, what was it? Here, here, here. And then up, down, down, and up. And then up, over, up. And get the ones to the left. And then around to the right. Hmm. Let 
let's see if this works. What did I miss? <laughs> Looks like I botched that one. What did I miss? I could have sworn I had them all. My memo still there? No, no, it's not. Up and then there and then I hit them all though, didn't it? Go on a road that wasn't there? So I went up, and then here, and then here, here, here. Oh, I made a path. Well, I got it there, so it has to be. This one's a tricky one? Yeah, a little bit. Just a little. I made a path here that doesn't exist. So if I just modify it to be only that one, does that fix the problem? Because I still reached the end. Yeah, I still reached the end, eventually. I just messed up on one part, so I... No, up and then down, sorry. I'm not missing anything, right? Everything's on a trail? Hmm, let's see if this works. Okay! Maiden's apprentice strikes again! Little annoying, but it's fine. It's chill. Now that your curiosity is satisfied, can we please move on, Professor? No. No, we cannot, Luke. Okay, well, what's the puzzle gonna be here? Ugh, when did it get so chilly? Indeed, it's cold out. It's so cold out here, the lake is frozen over. Oh, I have an idea for a shortcut. Uh, Meow of Destiny, thank you for the follow. Thank you. I'm glad you think that me struggling with puzzles is funny. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, thank you. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. What's going on here, then? The lake in front of the professor is frozen solid. The ice is so thick it's stand, uh, enough to stand on, but so slippery that any movement in any direction causes him to slide uncontrollably to that direction until he hits the wall. In the stationary, you can change the professor's direction by tapping the arrows around him. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Look at that fucking. <laughs> he looks so weird. Okay, sorry. Uh, when stationary, you can change the professor's direction by tapping the arrows around him. Okay, so this is like that one puzzle in Undertale. No, because then that brings me right back around. There are many puzzles like this in Undertale, so... There we go. And now, to test my theory. That was easy. And there I don't know if there it. are any sliding puzzles in Deltarun, but I know that there's one at the very beginning of Undertale that I remember solving as a kid, so... Brain, Brain knows how to work those ones. I don't have to try that hard. A crossing went as well as I could have hoped for, but we can't stop here. Off we go. Whee! The bridge isn't gonna break, is it? It's gonna break. Please break. <laughs> um, Professor, are you sure it's safe to cross that thing? It looks a bit rickety. Safe enough, I believe. Are you frightened, Luke? A little, yes. I mean, just look, if I fell off, it'd be the end of me for sure. 
Now, Luke, it may seem scary, but if you stay calm and keep moving forward, you'll be fine. Here, try this puzzle. It'll take your mind off of our little trip across the chasm. Another trick. Alright. Luke and the Professor... Uh, Luke and Professor Layton stand at one edge of the rickety bridge. Afraid of falling into the chasm below, Luke's legs have become stiff with fear, and he can only walk across the bridge in increments of one or three planks at a time. The narrowness of the bridge prevents Luke from doubling back the way he came or switching the foot he's using to step to forward while standing on it. Use your stylus to create a path that guides Luke safely across the path to avoid any gaps in the planks. I don't think that's how that would work. Hmm. This one's a little bit weird. Um, because it's not like he can change foot anywhere. I'm worried about that middle L-shaped gap. This should do the trick. Oh, okay. So that's how you're supposed to solve it. Okay. Huh, I thought there was a submit wonderful. button somewhere. Oh, it's the increments of three thing. I was just pressing buttons. I'm not going to lie. Well, I suppose I feel a little bit better. Crossing bridge. Wow, this place is even creepier looking up close. Feeling nervous again, are you? Not in the slightest. Let's go, Professor. Ah, someone help me! What seems to be the problem, sir? There's a vampire in that castle. I thought it was a goner, but I managed to give him the slip. A real vampire? Bat noises. I didn't stick around to check his fangs, sonny boy. I've got to get away from here. Ugh! So what do you think about this vampire business now, Professor? Rumor does seem to have spread throughout the population of false sense. Well, do you think maybe he could be, you know, more than a rumor? That's what we're here to find out. Just a few more steps and we'll find the answer ourselves. Progress time. <laughs> I've been live for almost four hours. Hold on. Hold on. I've been doing this for almost four hours. Okay. I was not paying attention to the time. Last time I checked, it was eight. Okay. It would appear you've solved at least 80 puzzles. I commend, I commend your perseverance to proclaim, proclaim your worthy of entry to this castle. Welcome. His name is Nigel, and he's got a long nose. Is he related to the Thornberry variety? Sorry to intrude. But we are investigating an important antique, this box we have here. The emblem on its lid seems connected to your house in some way. This voice acting could try and keep the jokes to a minimum. Would you have time to answer a few questions? Hmm. I think this matter would best be addressed by the master. Please, come inside. Oh, shit, it's a cutscene. Okay. I gotta try not to make jokes now. Wow, this place is really something else. Indeed, Luke. This castle is extremely impressive. Right this way, please. It's not so fucking weird.
Good evening. Welcome to my house. So, if I understand correctly, you're saying people fear the box because they believe it kills anyone who opens it. <laughs> That's quite a story, isn't it? It seems that the design on this box is connected to your family in some way. Can you tell me anything about this? It's true that it was a Herzen family heirloom. Although I parted with it a number of years ago, the garish emblem you mentioned wasn't exactly, uh, suited to my taste. Personally, I think it's quite spectacular. Oh, is that so? Well, chalk it up to my bad taste then. You know, I don't think he's telling us the whole story. Perhaps not. It's hard to say just yet. I'm sorry I'm not much help, though I confess, visitors are always delightful. I'm sure you've had a long journey, so please, do stay the night. Prepare the quarters for our guests, Nigel. Yes, right away, Master. Uh -huh. <laughs> he talks so fucking weird. Why is he so nasally? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Several things. <laughs> One, why does Nigel talk like that? Two, he just fucking appeared from the shadows. Like, he just, like, just stepped in and was like, yes. <laughs> He's like fucking Batman. What the fuck? Also, I was not expecting that voice to come out of him. I'm not talking about Nigel. Fuck, what was the Anton? I was not expecting that voice out of Anton. I was really not expecting that voice out of Anton. What the- <laughs> That got me off guard. <laughs> also, that extreme echo in Luke and Leighton, like, like, whispering. Like, yeah, because it matters at that point. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm good. I'm good. This is the poshest room I've ever seen. It's a room befitting the most influential family of false sense. I have a hard time believing this place is pretty- as this, considering it has a vampire lurking about. Oh, you never know, Luke. Maybe Anton himself is a vampire and we just haven't realized yet. Anton? No way. He seemed like a perfectly nice guy to me. Wait a second. I thought you didn't believe in vampires. Are you pulling my leg? But there is something strange going on here now that you mention it. Remember that picture we saw in the Herzen Museum? Anton was in it, wasn't he? Thing is, even though the photo was taken 50 years ago, Anton doesn't even look a day older. It's been bothering you too, hasn't it? I can't quite understand how it could be possible. It's especially odd given that Mr. Beluga has clearly aged since the picture was taken. It's a very odd thing coming from Leighton himself, who doesn't physically age as well. This isn't just like a... This, this is just an offhanded comment by me, but like... Throughout the rest of the Leighton games, he also does not age. <laughs> Physically, he looks exactly the same. And he's like in his 60s at the end. Like at the very, very end that we know of. He's in his 60s and he looks exactly the same. So it's funny coming from him of all people. Maybe just more eye bags than normal. <laughs> Like, I don't know how he aged that gracefully. Jesus Christ. <sighs> it seemed that both Anton and his castle weren't further expl uh, exploration. I can read. There's that famous latent intuition acting up again. I suppose you could say that, though I hardly call it famous. Why don't we start our exploration exploration of the castle with this room? Good idea. Let's get it. To let's get to it. Coin. Fuck, I was looking for more coins. That is a fascinating painting. Have you ever seen such a convincing illustration of a gala? 
what I've seen of this castle, I'm certain the ball was extremely opulent. My, it's gotten quite late. There's time for a quick puzzle, and then it's off to sleep, alright? If this is a sliding puzzle, I'm gonna scream. The couple in this piece seem to be dancing high in the air, floating impossibly near the chandelier. But as it turns out, when viewed properly, there's nothing strange about it. The picture, if you look close enough, one particular area of the painting hints at the reason the whole picture seems odd. Find that particular area and circle the truth. Is it the floor? Apparently not, it's not the floor. Because the, the whole thing is just perspective and a mirrored floor. That's all. This picture was taken close to the ground in an upward angle with a mirrored floor. There's nothing weird about it. Um, is it just that reflection? Because there are many reflections. There's that one, there's this one, there's this one. Uh, I'll go with this reflection, though. Because it doesn't like just me circling me. the entire floor. Okay, it was that reflection. Piece it didn't like cake. me circling the entire floor before. The couple seems to be the only two people with a visible reflection on the floor. It seems the scene in this painting isn't of a ball of itself, but rather a reflection of the ballroom floor. Perhaps the young couple out on the floor looked so happy together that the painter didn't want to ruin the dance by staring straight at them. I guess. It really is a magnificent picture. Oh, what's this, Luke? Tell me, do these two look familiar to you? It looks like Anton. And is that Katya? I say, look at this picture. Luke, is that Falsense there? I think so. The artist's inscription down here says the painting's 50 years old. It looks pretty much the same as out the window of Falsense, though. Hmm. What are you thinking, Professor? Oh, it's nothing. I was just pondering something. My, it's gotten late. It's been quite the day for us, so perhaps it's time to turn in. Yeah, I could use some sleep. Good night, Professor. Sleepy times normally means cutscene. Cutscene! is striking. What are they doing together? <gasps> oh! Fear not, my dear. They're just the main course for this evening. And my, don't they look fresh. been far too long since I've encountered prey so feisty. Okay. Anton, what sort of madness is this? It's the loudest I've heard Leighton Race's voice ever. I knew it! You are a vampire! Well, if that's the case, it was rather foolish for you to venture here, wouldn't you say? But I'm afraid it's too late now. I must begin preparations. In the meantime, why don't you just stay put and enjoy each other's company? After all, it'll be your last chance. <sighs> He's like, bitch! <laughs> Do you hear that? Anton's gonna eat us for dinner! Luke, listen to me. Take a deep breath and collect yourself. There's no cause for worry, my boy. Whoever tied these ropes did a piss-poor job. With a little work, I might be able to get us free. It's probably Anton himself, let's be honest. 
A man sits bound by a long length of rope among several posts. While he has no hope of untying his bonds, he can still move his legs where he stand, uh, were he to stand up and run away with his long trail of rope. Uh, looks like it might catch on at least one of the posts. He'll need to use his legs to pull away, uh, to pull up any posts that prevent him from running away before he can dash off. Mark any posts that may prevent the man from running away. Okay. So let's kind of see how these all want to connect. Okay. I'm doing this more for myself than you guys, sorry. And then up and through. Back around and up. Down, around, through, around. Okay. Okay. All right. Come on. There you go. I'm guessing he's talking about running away this way. Right? Because if he runs down, he'd have to go around a pole. Get caught on this one. Consider this puzzle solved. Okay. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. I did it. All the others would kind of just pull forward, but that one would get caught in a loop. If he needed to be fast, he'd be fucked. Finally free, but there's no time to stand around. We must find to get a we must find a way out quickly. Hint coins, wherever they may be. Oh no, we're locked in. There's no place to run. Calm yourself, Luke. There's bound to be another way out of this room. Look around you. I can see the key. If only I could reach it. Here, let's see if I can't reach it. Grab the key. That's another fucking block puzzle, ain't it?
this has to go down first, right? Like, there's, there's no way. Ah, slidey puzzles weren't never my best. I need to reset my brain. <laughs> I need to get it to stop and start again. Hold on. <laughs> I need to think. So this block 100% has to go all the way down until at least the very end. I do that. That kind of consolidates room. If I do something like that, Maybe it just needs... It's so tricky to move around, though. Ugh. Eye strain. Ouch. Looking at screens too long. It's hurting my braid. Okay, if I... Do something like that... Something like that. And then... Oh, 
Hold on. Wait, what if I... And then... Hold on. There we go. I had to juggle things around a bit more. And now Jesus to Christ. Test my theory. Huh. Wonderful. I did it. I'm so good at this game. There we are. The door's unlocked. Freedom is ours, Luke. Oh, another key. Because I'm guessing this is Anton's diary. My father fell ill from that sickness and has passed on. I also heard that many of the people who left False Sense have formed a small village a safe distance away from town. I imagine she lives there now, too. I've decided to send her a letter. As Duke, I can't leave town, but I've entrusted my message with a man passing through town. Now all I can do is wait for her reply. Professor, if we went up there, we'd probably... If we want to get out of here, we should probably head up, don't you think? Okay, so that's where we were being held. That's further down, so then... The door won't budge. But there doesn't seem to be any kind of lock on it. Good point. The door must be controlled by some sort of device positioned elsewhere. Let's head down from here and see what else we can find. Okay, so what I was going to do in the first place. I've never seen such an immense boiler before. This may be the castle's main source of power, for some reason, though it's not currently in use. And what makes all the other machines here? They're all so gigantic. If I were to venture a guess, I'd say the equipment was used to mine the gold in the area. It's likely the same equipment they used to make the large hole surrounding the castle. Spooky. So that's why this place is so drafty. Look at that bizarre smoke coming out of the hole. Don't get too close to it, Professor. I bet breathing it in is probably terrible for you. Whoever broke the ground here must have known that, that machinery must have known that machinery inside and out. One misplaced scrape of the shovel could have sent the whole foundation crashing down. Not to be rude, but I think we really have should admire the miner the miner's handiwork. God, I can read. Oh yes, quite right, my boy. Hmm. I believe we can open the door above us if we get this boiler up and running again. Another puzzle! Uh, which valves do you need to open to send steam from the boiler into two, but not one or three? All valves will start in the closed position. Uh, answer using the solution that requires opening the fewest number of valves. Okay. So... Steam will go to those two, here, and here. To get something to three, we want to use as least many valves as possible. I'm seeing one, two, three. But this one stops here. This one goes here, and I open up that valve. It goes around, and then I open up that one. Then it goes under, open that one. This is an under, I think, so it's not connected. But it'll go here and then up, and then be stopped here. Try it, I guess. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I blow the bitch up. Hmm. Let's see if this works. I'm I'm a genius. Too easy. I'm a genius, I'll have you know. 
I have I have a large fucking cranium. I know what I'm doing. Good work, my boy. Now up, no upward and outward. I don't see any other way out of here. And Tom just appears like, how the fuck did you get that boiler working? Okay, so that was back where we came from. Hint coins, and it's not where I was going. The door's shut too tight. The door serves only as a portal out of here. We'll need to open it to escape. Ooh, a magic lock. It's called the magic lock. Uh, it seems that the lock here is some sort of magic square in order to solve it. Position the remaining number so that each string of four vertical... My phone buzzed. Each string of four vertical, horizontal, and diagonals number end up to the same total. Uh, you're kidding. Okay. Hold on. So it's a four by four grid. Five. Eight, three, two, six, seven, one, and four. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Try and place things. Okay. Okay. Get my calculator again. This is gonna take a bit. We'll try to make it fast, though. But I'm not that fast at math, so... See what we can do from there. Okay, that doesn't work. Numbers too high. Well, maybe we should start with the lower number. things go along. Um. Okay. Okay. 
So then... The number that I have them all equaling right now is coming out to 18. So I'm working on that, just filling you in as to where I am. And I have like three lines done at the moment. I think I got it. So it would go two, three, uh, four, eight, five, one, six, seven. This should do the trick. Okay. Huh. Wonderful. You won't believe me, but your stream is so comfy I fell asleep. You fall asleep no matter what I'm doing. I'm not that surprised. Luke, the vent's open now. Follow me. If you need a, a story recap, go ahead and tell me, though. Because I can fill you in. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Hello, Nigel. Take care that you don't slip, Luke. The floor is polished to an almost blinding shine. Wow, you're right. It looks like a mirror. Who do you think does all this polishing? That would be me, sir. Ah, the butler. Yes, I most certainly am. And I don't mean to be presumptuous, but what are you two doing up at this hour? If, you have trouble if you're having trouble falling asleep, I suggest a good, strong puzzle to clear and relax the mind. Here. You're not gonna try and stop us, or anything? Stop you? Young sir, I have the foggiest notion what you're talking about. Now where was I? Ah, yes, that puzzle. The hall has been fitted with a hidden door. Though, to my... chargin, I've forgotten where. However, I do recall an old saying the servants use in the past days to remember the location of the door. I will now re... relate to you that saying and your task, uh, dear guests, will be to decipher the door's location. All right, you need you need a recap. Okay, then, uh, Harlock, what is the last thing you remember happening in the game? Because that's kind of where we need to start that one. What's the last thing you remember? Okay, begin from the doors etched in the decor a path will appear strong and quite clear made of stars that flare each within its own square these words are said to point the way to the hidden door this one doesn't seem too too hard but okay girl hitting on the professor then on the kid at the brothel. Okay, so let's see if I can remember that. What were we doing at that point? Were we looking for the pieces of the fucking photo yet? Or were we just kind of moving around doing jack all? door starts here, so it's gotta... You know what I mean? Cool. 
Consider this puzzle solved. Fuck. Well, I suppose that's Think one about possibility exactly what eliminated. it's saying to you. But that was the door! But yeah, like, what exactly were we doing? Like, if you remember that. If you remember, like, what we were looking for. That'd be good. I'm so confused. What does it want me to do? Does it want me to, like... This should do the trick. Uh... I think it was uh, photo well, bits. I suppose you can't win them all. Shut up, Clayton. I think it was photo bits at the very start of the stream. Okay, so we found all the bits of the photo. And it gave us a photo of the uh, Elysian box. And it has like a little ram sid like symbol on it that you can see throughout the town. It's a symbol of the Herzen family, which is the family that, you know, the Duke and everybody in is, yeah. yeah the main fam mining family of the town. Uh, you find out the town was a mining town. And that, um, it was very rich in gold. And you also find out that Mr. Beluga is, like, the son of the Duke and, like, heir to his, like, his father's fortune, who was the Duke doing all the mining. Um, but he left at some point and eventually, you know, came back looking for the box because he thought, that it would um, give him the ability to access his father's fortune. Um, the detective blames the murder of the of the doctor. You know, the first guy. The reason that we're on this entire thing uh, blames that on Sammy. But as he's struggling to get Sammy out, we show the photo to Flora. And Flora's like, oh, that's an interesting little ram on the front of it. But at that point, um, the photo doesn't look like a ram anymore because the ram's face had been like, we lost that, that part of it due to the wind. So it looked more like a frog. So then Leighton's like, you're not really Flora, are you? And it wasn't. It was a character by the name of Don Paolo, who's like the main villain of the original trilogy. Um, and he's like, you know what, fuck you, Leighton. Uh, I, don't worry. You know, I might have lost this one, but we're still going. Don't think this is the last time you're gonna see me. And also, how the fuck weren't you able to tell that I was Flora? I feel like a number of things should have tipped you off before this point. Uh, and then he got chased out by the detective, who's, I guess, currently still trying to track him down. Uh, we go to the museum, which had now opened... And we look around a little bit to learn more about the town. And eventually we're instructed to go to the mines. Because if they have, like, a journal is left down there, we'll get firsthand about what was going on here. We get down into the mines. We do end up finding a journal. And the journal basically says, you know, while they were mining, they eventually hit something that wasn't gold. But the duke at that time, who's... Um, Mr. Beluga's father was basically like, maybe it can be rendered down into something. So he forced them to start mining that too. But as soon as they started mining that as well, um, the town started to getting sick. And as people were getting sick, people were dying. So like half the workforce got like demolished in a single go. So people started leaving. And then the Duke got sick with that same ailment that people had been calling a curse at that point and died. Um, and Mr. Beluga left as well during that time. So we decide to go to the castle 
uh, where the Duke, the current Duke, his older brother, uh, Anton, supposedly lives. So we get there, and, you know, Anton's like, yeah, you know, it's nice to have people around sometimes. Uh, more things about how weird it is that things, you know, haven't changed in 50 years, yada, yada, yada. Anton's like, yeah, actually, I am the vampire that everyone's been saying shit about. Because, by the way, there, uh, there's been an overarching thing about a rumor of a vampire. And he's like, yeah, I am a vampire. Um, so I'm just gonna kill you, but not exactly just yet. So just kind of sit tight in this, like, little bunker for a bit. Leighton and Luke get free and they find their way out, and now that's where we currently stand, is them trying to get out of there. Because they were just tied up. That's about it. And I still have no clue exactly what this is talking about and what it wants me to do. So I'm just gonna keep this pressing solved. buttons. And hope it well, works at some point. I suppose point. that's one possibility eliminated. Yeah, it is, because this is stupid. What if I'm I don't highlight the door? My theory. Oh, my. This one is quite formidable. It really isn't, but okay. They hit a uranium deposit? Probably. I have no idea. What's wrong about the the thing? I've been gifted with popcorn. I knew I smelled popcorn. Ah! It's in my bowl too. They were using my popcorn bowl. How dare they? The only reason it's mine is because it has a, a, a Hello Kitty thing on it. So I've claimed it. It's mine now. wanted me to select the hidden door and not the path. Oh. Okay. I got it. Consider this puzzle solved. Huh. Wonderful. And why do you mean I fall asleep no matter what you do? I don't know. You just fall asleep a lot. I did it. That's all. You're always like, sorry, I passed out. Maybe not like always, always, but always in the slang sense. Masters police officers. Now, if you've completed your little nightcap, I suggest returning to your quarters. Get away from me, I have to read. Oh, look, I never said it was a bad thing. Calm down. I never said it was a bad thing. Just that you do it a lot. These old halls can get quite drafty at the dead of night. Well, keep that in mind. Good night. <laughs> and to you, too. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Hi, bye. Professor, I think I see we I think I see a way we can get out of here. A search led us to the castle and we're on the verge of revealing what killed Dr. Schrader. We must search this place thoroughly before we make our escape. Let's see what else is here. But Professor, I don't think that's a, such a good idea. Luke, listen to me. We can't turn back and run. Not now. 
We're so close to uncovering the truth of false sense in the Elysian box. We must press on. Uh-oh. We're shaving our progress. Ooh. Let's back outside. Oh, Katrina. Katya. I remember an shop. Oh, why are you two here? I could ask you the same thing. It's dangerous here. There's a vampire living in this castle, you know? Anton, he's no vampire. He's just... I'm quite puzzled, Katya. What do you know about this man? Um... It's not for me to say. Besides, right now, I must focus on all your efforts... You must focus on all your efforts on escaping. If you linger here, the madness will grip you before long. Madness? I'm afraid I don't understand. Please be honest with us on what's happening here. Very well. I'll explain everything, but first you must get as far away from this possible from this castle as possible, quickly. I know the way out. Follow me. How are you related to this entire situation? Are you? There's no time. You've got to get out of here. Worried. Let's see. Hold on. Fire out popcorn this time. This won't do. People are trying to sleep, you know. Is it you? It can't be. Oh, how I've waited. It's been so unbearably long. Professor, do you know what he's talking about? Not in the slightest. Come closer. My dear sweet Sophia, I've missed you so. <laughs> Whoa, drama! What's this? <laughs> Very well, then. Is this how it is? I didn't see this coming, Leighton. Not at all. I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> this is your fault, but you can't have my Sophia. You're going to be very sorry you crossed me. That's not even a name, fucko. <gasps> ah, yes, the battle scene. My favorite. <laughs> There's uh, no lack of swords here. Hold on. Take whichever one this you like. This is the like. best cutscene. Know this, though. This next Only one coming one up. one of them is real. Whoa. Spooky. A true warrior always keeps his blade in hand. <gasps> Aha, I see. <laughs> A true warrior always keeps his blade in hand. Those are Anton's last words to the professor. To Professor Layton before they start of their duel. You find the real sword among Anton's collection. Now, I know the answer to this one. So I'm not even gonna pretend like I have no idea. Consider this puzzle solved. I'm not even going to pretend like I have no idea. Huh. I know exactly Wonderful. the answer to this one. Because we're at my favorite point. Because this is the part where things fall into place, and also this fight scene is just really good. I didn't think you had it in you, Mr. Layton. <laughs> Layton! Mm -hmm. Sophia belongs to me. You can't have her. Ah! His attacks have gotten weaker. Something strange is happening. I just need to catch my breath. No more! Please, just stop! What's happened to me? Are you all right? Please just stop, Grandfather. Your body can't take it. What did you say? I don't understand. Sophia, dear. 
You haven't figured it out, have you? You really don't know. Then I guess it's up to me to tell you the truth. <laughs> I'm your granddaughter, Anton. They went from down to up there. Don't question it, it's a fight scene. Don't be ridiculous. Look at me. I'm too young to be anyone's grandfather. But what you see around you I put the bowl down, so I gotta get the bowl back. Hold on. It's just an illusion created by your own mind. Uh huh. Your youth is part of that illusion. The truth is, well. Allow me, please. <laughs> you really just said. Hold on. I think I got it. Correct me if I'm wrong. The gold mine built by your father, the late Duke Herzen, brought this town much growth and prosperity. <laughs> Use your wide eyes, Grandpa. Yeah. But something terrible slept deep within that rich gold deposit. Foreboding. Unbeknownst to the miners, they hit a vein of hallucinogenic gas while digging for gold. The entire point of the game, by the way, is they were on drugs the whole time, baby. The gas made those who breathed it extremely susceptible to mental suggestion of all types. Tales of the nightmarish vision seen in full sense then spread, as did the town's sinister reputation. Drugs, 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 drugs. In truth, neither the full sense we see before us nor its residents really exist. This is all a creation of our minds. Drugs, 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 drugs. The images of oh, the sense we saw are 50 years old, yet they show a town identical to the full sense of today. No town can remain unchanged for 50 long years. The photos we saw in the train station formed our impression of the full sense we'd see. The full sense of 50 years ago. Enough of this madness. False sense is real. None of it's real, Grandfather. This town is just a thin shadow. An illusion born of greed. You and Sophia, everything you know changed 50 years ago. Gotcha. But you and I are betrothed. How can you just leave me here? I won't have it. This whole town is cursed. If we remain here, all uh -oh. those dear to me will die. Am I not dear to you, Sophia? Stay with me, and we'll rebuild full sense together. I'm sorry, Anton. Look, Grandpa. But Look, there's someone specialized. else I love who needs me even more than you. Is that the real reason you want to go? Because there's someone else? There was, but not who you'd expect. I trusted Sophia, and she left me for another. You've got it all wrong, Grandfather. She never betrayed you. What? The other she was talking about was the little life growing inside her. She was pregnant, baby! The life you two created together. Literally. <laughs> no. That can't be. Whoops. I'm sorry, Anton. Look at him off again. Sorry. I love who needs me even more than you. I'm just enjoying this shit like it's an episode of Real Housewives. Sophia was. That's right. Grandmother was carrying my mother, and she left full sense to keep her safe. She kept the baby a secret to avoid causing you more pain. Up, oh, chip. I'm getting a bit messy. I've been so wrong. Salt all over my hands. Oh god. I'll put that down for now. Okay. Grandmother passed away last year, but she was always talking about you, even toward the end. She never stopped loving you. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> Do you dead? I'm sorry, this is a very intense Sophia's and serious dead. scene. No, it can't be. I've had enough of your lies! Oh. No. Grandfather, no! Please Baby stop. raging like Kylo Ren. 
We must leave now. The whole place is starting to crumble. Come with me. What's this? What's happening? What? Come on, Grandfather. We have to get out of here. Be careful. Salt all over your room now? Eh, not particularly. Why is the grandpa faster than Leighton? It seems I've found the answers I was searching for. Here, allow me to return this to you. Thank you. So, the box wasn't cursed after all. No, Luke. There's no curse to be found here. But if I were to guess, I suspect you'd find traces of that gas in the ore used to make this box. The same fumes that drove the town to ruin were released upon each person who opened the box. Those who opened the box expected death, and in doing so, fulfilled their own grim predictions. I suppose it was just an ordinary box, then. Oh, I assure you, it's far from ordinary. This box was crafted to hold the words of my heart. What do you mean? The box contains a hidden message, one meant only for Sophia. Many years ago, I asked a traveler passing through town to deliver it to her. Unfortunately, the box's value made it a target for those hungry for wealth. And so it was stolen again and again, thus perpetuating the whole chain of sad events. But we checked the box. It was as empty as could be. Ah. Well, that's because there's actually a second way to open it. The sun rises when you and I meet, and when the wind blows, you will know my heart. These old words are the key to understanding this box and what it means. Do you follow, boy? I think so. Let me give it a shot. The sun rises when you and I meet, and when the wind blows, you will know my heart. Huh. Places built with paper mache? Yes. So the boardwalk lady was not real. No. No, the brothel lady was not real. Not real brothel lady. Uranium route would have been better. Uh, if it was the uranium route, they would have actually all died, and you couldn't have been like, Actually, you all were just high as balls. Oh. Um. I 
I fear we might not be able to reach the end of the game. Uh... Um, I don't have any way to, for the, uh, the, the breath part of things to, uh, work. Hold on, give me a sec. I'll figure this out. Because I don't think just going would make this shit work. Because if it were to do that, it'd work already. You know what I mean? Uh, hold on. Ugh, I'm getting too warm. The blanket's coming off. If I can't solve this, I'll just pull up a video of the, um, the last cutscene of the game. If I can't figure it out. So, we're getting to the end of the game whether we want to or not. Hmm. Yeah, I'll put... While I'm figuring things out, I'll put back on cabinet, man. Don't worry, I'm still here. Oh, no sneakers. Mm -hmm. I'll figure it out. Give me a sec. Yeah, it's repeating. Okay, we're good.
It's empty, like it's Christmas Eve. Someone's broken in, another painting on my skin. I'm really trying, I'm looking, I'm looking real hard into this. Okay. Thank you, random Reddit thread. This is taking too fucking long. Oh my god, really? Come on, man. Come on. Shut up. I'm just annoying you guys now for fun. I'm gonna- I'm not- I'm not even gonna lie. While you look for something, what thought about the Discord? Well... What? Oh, wait. Do I have to have it playing? Oh! Oh, shit! Hold on! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I fixed it. Here goes! I fixed it! <laughs> I did it! Maiden's apprentice strikes again! I did it! I figured it out. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> I could not have figured that out at a better time. I figured it out. It was paused. <laughs> I was doing everything right. I just wasn't... The game just wasn't actively running. Uh, thought about the Discord. So, my thought is, if I join it, then it becomes an official Discord. Because my name is now then attached to it. So... It's either becomes an official Discord or whatever. So honestly, if things are going to go the Discord route, I'm probably, I'll probably just make my own at this point. But, you know, if you want to keep it up and advertise it, you know, I don't mind. 
but the heavy lifting would have to be done on your part. Which is kind of a, a bitch, but I'll go ahead and make my own, I guess. I don't know. That That's my thought process on it. It's not, you know, probably the thoughts that you wanted to, to hear because, you know, I know you were excited to do this. But, you know, maybe, maybe I'll, you know, join and see what's going on. But, I don't know, maybe I'll use it. Maybe. But, yeah. Maybe. Maybe I'll just steal yours. But, you know, it's it's a lot to set up and I'm kind of... If you make a better one, I'll delete it. I doubt I could make a better one. It'd probably just be, like, the most basic shit. But I'm sure I have, like, an empty server running around that I can fix. That I can fix up to be a uh, an actual one. Uh, expect it to be cursed beyond belief because I will not be making assets for it. So... Yeah. But I might just end up using yours if it comes down to it and I really just can't brain properly. So. If not, I'll DM you about it, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, I fixed it. <laughs> there was a hotkey to make it so the game can hear your microphone. So that's what I was attempting to do. But it wasn't working because I was not actively tabbed in. So. Anyway, welcome to the end of the game. I did it! Wow, a letter. Oh. What's the matter? This isn't the letter I wrote. This is Sophia's handwriting. The box must have made it to her after all. My dear Anton, are you well? I received your letter. You had to physically blow on the mic. That is funny. Yes, yes I did. Though I'd like nothing more than to see you again, I'm afraid I no longer have the strength to do so. You don't know how many times I've thought about you over the years. I often wonder if you hate me for what I did. Do you? When I decided to leave, I was carrying our child. I couldn't bear exposing that tiny life to such danger. I knew your father's position and understood you didn't have the option to leave with me. Even though I did the only thing I could, I'll always regret leaving you that way. But there's one bright spot in this sad story, and that is our lovely granddaughter, Katya. My departure all those years ago has given you the chance to meet. Katya's mother died shortly after she was born. But Katya grew up strong and sweet just the same. She reminds me of you every time she smiles. With her around, I could never forget about you, even if I wanted to. You've been in my thoughts since the day we parted. And now, Though my time here is drawing to a close, I like to think we'll meet again on the other side. The thought of seeing your face warms my heart. Be well and be happy, my dear Anton. Goodbye. But just for now, your Sophia. Oh, Sophia, 
I finally understand now. Grandfather. Hmm. Grandfather? Yes, that's right. It has a nice ring to it. I am so happy we met, my dear granddaughter. You don't know how much this means to me. Shut up. It's been so long. So very long, in fact, that I had forgotten what love even felt like. Instead, my love for Sophia was replaced by anger, and that anger completely blinded me. But now I can see the world clearly again, thanks to you, my granddaughter. <laughs> Are you listening, Sophia? I'll have to put off returning to your side for a while. There's someone I need to get to know here first. Will you forgive me for making you wait just a little longer, my dear? Wherever she is, I'm sure she's very happy for us. And that was the tale of the Elysian box, a relic feared for the fatal curse it was said to carry. It's but, the, it's the voice all again. said and done, there was no curse sleeping under its gilded lid. Instead, the box was revealed for what it truly was. A vessel created to carry the love of two kindred spirits through all of time. While terror brought the box its notoriety, in the end, its most powerful message was one of love. And that was the end. There you go. Took me a couple minutes, but that was the end. There you go. Good game. Good game. Many a puzzle. That I solved only like a third of. That now that this is done... I am probably going to spend tomorrow going through the entire game 100%ing uh, everything because I have nothing better to do with my time, okay? And it's been five hours. <laughs> Finally finished it 653 years later. You're welcome. It only took three days. I'm surprised. I thought it would take at least five. But we were further to the end than I thought we were last time. It still took five hours to get to the end, though, from last time, so... About 10 hours. 11. Ish. Hours. It's not a very long game. Just stream it tomorrow? No, I'm good. I have things to do tomorrow. Uh. That wasn't me. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him just laying on the fucking floor. If you look at the uh, smaller screen, there's a bunch of art for the game. As that is the top screen, technically. Look at him just lying on the fucking floor. Look at that. Doggy. noises. You just said you don't have anything to do tomorrow. Well, I have things to do. 
Just not a lot of things. <laughs> He's like, oh shit. Oh god, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's good to know that the game even realizes how weird it was. Got it, got it. <laughs> Luke's face! He's like, huh? They all, like, everyone besides Leighton looks mildly disturbed. <laughs> <laughs> Luke cheering Leighton on from the sidelines. It was a good battle. Okay, it was very cool. I just- I, I love how they do action scenes. I forget which studio it is that does the cutscene animations. But I love how they do it. I forget- <sighs> Shit. I'm trying to remember, but I don't. <laughs> the two old men. I'm I'm like looking at the at the thing to like see if I can find an animation studio. They're all my Studio Bones. That's what it was. I knew it was a very infamous studio. Studio Bones, who, you know, also did, like, Full Metal Alchemist and shit, you know what I mean? But it was Studio Bones. I'm pretty sure. The box. Um, Come look at this article, you two. Uh, huh? Miracle rescue saves beloved academic. So, the doctor's alive after all. Hmm. We'll visit him as soon as we return. Hmm. Oh. But that might conflict with the symposium you have scheduled in London tomorrow. Well then, I'll simply have to cancel. Huh? After all, Luke, one must always show gratitude to one's teachers. That's what a gentleman does. <laughs> okay. Okay. The cutscene's over, we're good. Okay, so it wasn't Studio Bones, it was PA Works. Studio Bones did everything from Eternal Diva onwards, which is the movie, um, which includes an Ace Attorney crossover. But sadly, we can't play it because uh, I don't have it. That just gave me an adrenaline. Uh, oh, tomorrow I won't wake up 5 a.m., so I won't sleep early. To force <laughs> out the LSD. Okay, okay. Okay, all right. Okay, calm down. To be continued. I don't know if I want that continued to be continued. 
We hope you enjoyed Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box. Though you've reached the end of the story, the fun is just beginning. It seems you've solved 89 puzzles before beating the game. Not too shabby. The story mode of this game contains 138 puzzles in total. If you haven't solved all of them already, try to find and complete them all. Also check the bonuses section to see where if you can unlock extra content by fulfilling certain criteria. If you unlock enough stuff, you might even find some new and challenging puzzles. Have a great time playing through the rest of Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box. Wow. Since you've come to the end of the story, your game will now save. When you continue this game, you will resume play inside Herzen Castle before fighting Anton. From there, you're free to return and hunt after, after items and puzzles you've missed. But anyway, what was I saying? Anyway, so... The game is shaming you? No, it's because I know what happens next. Um, anyway, so it wasn't Bones. Studio Bones did Eternal Diva and the Ace Attorney crossover onward with cutscenes. And again, uh, Eternal Diva is the movie. I don't know if you could watch it anywhere if you have a passing interest. But yes, there is an Ace Attorney crossover. No, I cannot find it because they recently shut down the 3DS shop. And that is where it was. It was a 3DS game. So, I can't play that one. But these cutscenes were done by PA Works, who did things... Let's look. They animated another and Angel Beats, if that means anything. I'm trying to see if I can find anything, like, really, really popular, but I can't. Um, apparently this is, uh, PA Works only really got started in 2000, but they, yeah, they did all of the animation for the first and second trilogy of the Professor Layton games. Oh, no, they did Eternal Diva. Okay. The first and second series Professor Layton games, and they also did Eternal Diva. Which, you know, again, is the movie. Oh! They did Buddy Daddies! What? Okay. Uh, that's, a, that's a newer anime coming out. Um, They did Charlotte as well. But, yeah. They just do a lot of cool things in the industry, basically. But it was all done by PA Works. So, that's interesting. I thought it was Studio Bones, because the first time I googled it, the main answer to come up is Studio Bones, but I guess that was specifically for the Ace Attorney crossover? Which, you know, is obviously the most popular game from the Professor Layton series, and probably the Ace Attorney series, um, save the Miles Edgeworth game. Because that one's, like, fucking impossible to get. Just legitimately is fucking impossible to get. Uh, and Trials and Tribulations, probably. Not impossible to get, but, you know, most popular. But, anyway... I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up. It's been five hours. Um, it's, it's been five hours. So, thank y'all for coming out. I appreciate it. It's been fun. Uh, I hope that I wasn't too, too boring while I was trying to solve some ridiculous fucking puzzles. But it's chill, so... Yeah, it, it's chill. You know, we're chill about these things. But it's been fun. Uh, maybe I'll play the next Professor Layton game, but know that if we do, I will be crying. So I need to mentally prepare before that one. If we do. If not, I will be playing it on my own and crying. So, yeah. Um, it's been nice. It's been good. Uh, it's been five hours. Thank you all for coming out. It's been really fun. Uh, I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday if anybody here is new and has made it this far. Uh, so I'll be back on Monday. But, uh, yeah. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, night, and or afternoon. Don't really care what time it is as long as it's great because you all deserve it. And I'll see you all on Monday. Bye, guys. We'll probably play Stardew Monday, honestly. Bye, guys. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.
Bye-bye. Bye, guys.